Hello gamers, it is nice. Welcome to a very special stream. We are gonna be doing our first impressions of MMO Throne in Liberty. If you're watching this at a later date, this is a new game. It might take me a while to set up stream. Feel free to skip ahead a couple of minutes and I'll be right back with you. We got a lot in store. I played a little bit, played through the tutorial for you guys, so I don't ruin that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be answering all questions and pretty much showing you what has changed since the, be uh, the beta. HD, welcome on in. So I'll be going over that with you guys and uh, it's gonna be a good time. I'll just get the link posted in Discord and then I will be good to go. Once again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for everyone that likes, subscribed, everything like that. And I hope you enjoy the gameplay. And hey, I hope I enjoy everything today. Be right back with you. First thing you're going to ever see when you log in, like any MMO, especially this one, is the cash shop. All right. One moment here. Just get the link posted in Discord and I'll be good to go. Thank y'all for being here. I'm almost ready. Makashi! No, it's not out yet, Makashi. Hamhog, thank you for being here. Alright, just gotta get the link. There we go. And good to go. Oh yeah, I forgot to get the cam going, huh? You know what? So this game is Unreal Engine 4, believe it or not. All right, we are good to go. Uh, just got to get my chat and camera pulled up. Uh, let's see. There we go. Boom, there's the camera. Let me crop myself a little bit better than that. Do like that. Need to center myself a little bit better. How you doing, RageFu? My voice is skipping? Uh-oh. Testing one, two. Oh, probably because I wasn't even on that tab. Here we go. Uh, let me know if the voice skipping still continues. Voice good now? Bet. Yeah, I was on my other monitor, so probably was messing things up. Uh, but yeah, keeping. Uh, let me know if you start seeing like horrible skipping outside of normal stream stuff. I am you know streaming this from korea so do keep that in mind but if it's like bad bad like unbearable like when i attempted yesterday let me know how's it feel dude okay let me start the stream off with this so it's a unreal engine 4 game you know a lot of games are boasting that unreal engine 5 tech but in my opinion this game looks phenomenal like really phenomenal um so there's that visually it's very it has a good aesthetic good um art style and everything like that um i've been good just been gaming man this came out today no it is still not out um so it's how do i say this i'll be honest with you chat and i i gotta do this i feel as a content creator full disclosure I planned on hate playing this game. What do I mean by that? Well, you know how you have hate watchers. Like, they don't like a person, but they still watch their content. Or they just, they're just there to leave a dislike button. I played this game before. Oh, and there's the major skipping. Hold on. I see the skipping. 
One second. ESL chapter looking good. Here, I just want to make sure to... Uh, now it's fine. I wonder if I should go ahead, Hounds. You know how I usually do. Uh, and uh, put on my basic camera. Yeah, let me... I'm actually going to get rid of the camera. I'll try to add a new one. Here, one second. Because I just want as much input lag as possible. It's less laggy than it was yesterday, but... You know, it's still going to be a little laggy. I just want to kind of limit that. And let's do that one. Is it going to let me? Yes. Got my ugly cam going. You see how much of a difference that makes? Look how ugly that is. See my whole background and everything like that? We'll crop that and we'll bring me down here. Sorry for the technical difficulties. But yeah, let me know anytime it's major skipping. My program kind of tells me, but it says one instance so far. But yeah. Fix itself, yeah. Is the gameplay feel different than ESL Black Desert Alliance? So here, let me explain it. So I don't know if you played Guild Wars 2, but it's very similar to that. Uh, it's a tab target game. So let's first go over that. Um, it's a tab target game, but I am using what's known as the hybrid camera. This is the action cam. I'm rotating my mouse right now. You see that white reticle? That's going to determine like where I face. So you have this, and then this is why I'm interested in Ashes of Creation as well. So you have this. Yeah, it's like Guild Wars 2 meets New World. You could probably say ESL's in there, but a little bit. Uh, so if we hit this, I am now in your traditional action combat. Um, so, you know, I can click things, you know, if that's how you want to play. Um, click the drag. You know, we can move WASD and rotate our camera. So you have the option of both. I don't like, I don't prefer tab targeting if I have the option not to do that. So we have that. But I'm going to do this. I have it to a keybind. So now I'm just action camera. This is going to be what a lot of you that followed me from, I don't know, an Elden Ring, ESO, New World. You're going to be used to this kind of camera. Uh, but yeah, so what else do we got going on? So this uses, uh, it doesn't have classes or races similar to MMO New World. What you have instead are weapons determine your capabilities, your weapon choices. Your two weapon choices are your class. Uh, where it does differ from a new world, if you want to use that as a rough comparison, if you're familiar with that, is there's no bar swapping. Like, I think a lot of tab games are like that, right? No bar swapping. Uh, well, there is bar swapping. I'll get to that in a second, what I mean. But there's no... Basically, you don't need to have that weapon out to use that weapon. And so the best example... Hey, I tell you what. Let's do some... Let's get to the... I'm about to turn in a quest. By the way, I'm only level 10. I didn't want to do too much before we showed the first impressions. I'm only level 10. I'm like right near the main town. It's behind me. But yeah. Um, something else. This game has very good movement. It's improved so much. And that's what I was saying before the frame rate started dropping. Um that uh here let me disconnect this really quick i think that um this game's combat improved probably threefold oh my gosh Harold, you traveled to me that's really cool that is bro go look how that looked on my stream you just appeared that's super cool dude here we're gonna group up in a second that, you just uh, how did they, they just let you go teleport near me what you haven't watched or listened to anything lead up to this game, so I know absolutely nothing. I hope the combat feels fluid. Dude, it does. And that's what I'm going to talk about here. Let's get to, let's first go over movement and then we'll get to combat. How do I get up there again? Here, let me, uh. So you have this going on. You could grapple. Yeah, you can turn into a bird. You know, you have, you have transformations. We'll go over this shortly. If I can time this right. Oh! So, like I said, I'm new. <laughs> we'll go back over there in a second. But um, I'm still getting used to the gliding, as you can tell. But instead of sprinting, you do what this guy does. Which is like, instead of a mount... Or sprinting, you have this. You transform into a animal that you kind of choose, basically. Um, and you have a gliding. Here, I'll just show you guys. How about that? Uh, this is your character UI and everything like that. We'll go over that here shortly. Um, let me show you the morph things. You guys will probably like this. So you got one. You got one for dash. You have one for glide. You have one for swim. Uh, so this one for uh, the dash. That's you guys just saw me use this thing. 
Um, here, how do I show you guys? Yeah, here we go. So I don't have to be this one. I can be this. I can be this. I'm sure there's more in the cash shop, of course, as you could imagine. There's other things that can be my dash morph. You got these things. You could be a cute little rabbit. All that stuff. And I'm sure there's even more. Um, for your glide, you see I'm the eagle. <laughs> uh, you know, raven, various bird types. This thing, which I find really cool for a flying morph. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, swimming is actually decent. Uh, you got decent swim speed. You can be an otter. Various otters. This thing, you know, Blastoise. I think that one looks pretty epic and so forth. Uh, so that's how that works. Um, anyways, so let me get back to my quest before we go into fall damage and then I'll be able to, uh, well, without sub coming to, uh, fall damage, I need to get over there. I'm going to take the hard route because I want you guys to see the grappling. I could take the main road, but I want you guys to see the grappling. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, that's the thing. I, I obviously am suffering from that new MMO itch, that new feel. So everything's going to feel so amazing to me because it's new, right? I haven't gotten to end game. I don't know how much or how bad the pay to win is per se. Um, But for right now, I'm having fun. There we go. We made it up safely. Where's my next grapple? There we go. And imagine once I get good with that, how fluid that is in combat. You turn into an eagle. You jump off something. Someone's chasing you. Someone's chasing you, right? So you go, boom. You go into this. And then you jump off a cliff into an eagle. And by the way, yeah, Hounds, hounds knows. Look at this freaking view. I have never played an MMO with this much... Um, I've never played an MMO with this much uh, render distance, it's called. So I actually did a quest, and you can go first person. I actually did a quest in that little lighthouse over there, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty far away. It may not even look like it, but that's really far away. Like, the render distance is actually insane. Like, I never, I haven't touched my graphic card settings and all that, but yeah. Um, and once again, I apologize if it's, like, super laggy. It's going to be laggy occasionally, but that's just what we got to expect with, you know, the situation at hand. Uh, but hopefully it's at least bearable and visible on stream. I'm actually going to pull the stream up on my phone, and I'm sure you guys will let me know if it gets unbearable. Uh, Ham Hog, I know you'll let me know. But I'll try to keep an eye on my phone, make sure it's not too laggy for you guys. So I appreciate you guys being here. All right, so we're going to turn in a quest, and then we'll get to see uh, what combat looks like. We'll go over ev we'll, we'll go over everything as we go. So, yeah, so basically, yeah, everyone's Druid by default. Uh, we do have English subtitles. Korean dialogue. Oh, am I the fight? I wasn't ready for that. This is like dramatic music. What's going on? Why is it darker? Uh oh. Whoa, okay, we're about to fight. You'll see combat. Okay, we gotta fight a lot of wolves. Help this guy. So I'll go over combat while we're doing this. So I have my wand and tome out, right? I can S key, do some range gaming. So you may notice I have sword and shield bars. I don't have to bar swap to my sword and shield. Bar swap only determines our auto attacks. These are true auto attacks. I am not clicking a button to auto attack this guy. So now watch this. I'll bar swap to my sword and shield. Now my auto attacks will be melee auto attacks. You see what I'm saying? Now, also, while I have this wand out, I can still quickly access my sword and shield skills. So, we're going to auto attack. Watch this. Watch how seamless it is. I'm going to do a shield strike. You see that? 
No bar swap needed. It's automatically going to whip out the weapon associated with that skill, which is very fluid, feels really amazing. I am a fan of weapon swapping games. I think it adds more skill. I think it adds more of a combat factor. Having played this, I totally get it now. Um, I It's so smooth. It's really smooth. Like, it's something you got to play to understand. Thank you. I couldn't have fought them off without you. So this guy, Escale, is leading wolves to attack the village. What happened to the others? He's leading wolves to attack the village. What happened to the others? Blah, blah, blah. You must leave. The wolves will be here soon. If you head downhill, you'll find the village. You'll be safe there. I said, I'll go with you. I had to look for the others. The wolves attacked and the people in the abbey weren't able to flee the village. We're about to go save a village, it looks like. I thought this was going to be a simple fetch quest, chat. We must rescue them quickly. I've noticed they have a lot of dialogue in this game. And it's actually voice acted like ESO, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's go do this. Um, I'll go over the current skills I have. So I'm going for like a paladin build right now. I played around with the mage. Well, the wand and dagger. But I want a paladin. So the wand is like a heal weapon for the most part. And magic damage. And I'm combining that with sword and shield. So I'm like a tank, but I can also heal myself and have some support. Have a little bit of range, a little bit of magic. Ugh. No, I didn't stream uh, the AOC thing on YouTube earlier, no. I'll be uploading it to YouTube at a later date. Uh, the AOC portion. Or it's on Twitch. Uh, what's going on? Oh, okay. Because of its scale, so many people. Okay. Okay. Um, so anyways, I'm using Sword and Shield and Wand and Tome. Um, and like I said, I don't know if you guys were able to heal me, uh, hear me over that combat. Uh, no, his stream didn't break. I don't think so. I could be wrong. But I know both of our VODs are on Twitch. So I'm doing Wand and Tome and Sword and Shield. And like I said, your weapon that you have equipped only determines your auto attacks. Oh, magnificent looking game. So it only determines your auto attacks. Uh, I'll go over the skills that I currently have equipped. Um... Let's see. So sword and shield. So here's a here's the cool thing I want to start with. It took us a while to learn this yesterday. So you have what are known as defense skills. So that's for me is my E or well, I got it bound to right mouse. That determines what your defense is or your parry or how you defend yourself rather. So look at this. With sword and shield, it's that. You're going to block for a little while. You see that? That's going to be like your stamina bar, essentially. That stamina bar is also used for repelling, gliding, if I'm correct. Uh, I think almost anything that's a, a morph. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on it. I'm still learning. Like, to you guys, I'm not, I don't know too much more than you guys. So that's what it is with sword and shield, right? Even if I bar swap and I have the wand out, I have my sword and shield as my defense. You choose which one you want to slot. As you can see here, I drag that right here. That's what my defense slot is, right? So if I wanted to, I can choose the wand and tomes thing to be my defense thing. Now, each of the think of it, it's its own skill, right? So the benefit of having this slotted is I have more health recovery. Also, I get a nice little burst heal if I time that parry right, as I understand it. Whereas the wand, it has a different thing. When I perfectly time my parry, it applies a stack of curse, which is something maybe we can go into details with later. I'm still learning. Uh, this ability is a, called Touch of Despair. Um, it's like a curse. And the more stacks you get on someone before you do like this ability, the curse explosion, the more damage it's going to do. So what this is going to do is apply Touch of Despair to the target if I actually uh, do a smart defense or a... Uh, block a fury attack as it's called so i'll i'll show and prove that to you guys so now i drag that to be my defense skill and remember it's going to work no matter which weapon i have out so now when i right click you see how it's a different thing it's a different uh and that's going to work on no matter which bar i'll bar swap to show that so now we have sword and shield out we're going to click that it's a pretty cool um it's a really cool combat system i i led the throne and liberty hate train but honestly they really turned this uh combat around and i'm actually really satisfied so um yeah i don't want to bore you guys too much but we have shield strike strategic rush counter barrier um this 
this AOE thing and then the swift heal. Um, let's go just get straight into some combat. Uh, so what are we doing? What's our goal right now? Speak with the boy. Okay, I got. I missed some dialogue here. And if you got any questions, let me know. Bard stuff. They. I bet they'll add something later. Something, something protect the children from the wolves. His name is Henry Castler. We have a name for him now. Nice gaming. I'll remember that. He'll remember nice gaming. Alright. Travel with Henry. Let's do it. You can zoom out decently far. You can go zoom in pretty close. You can go first person. Someone's asking for help over here. We'll go clear these guys out. Um, oh, I didn't go over weapons, but we'll, we'll I can show you guys some different weapon combinations. If you guys want to see mage, maybe I'll whip out the staff at some point. The wolves are gone. Gone. Please open the door. The door won't open. I'll break this thing down for you. But here's our available weapons. Sword and shield. Tome. Wand and tome. Uh, great sword. Dual wield daggers. Dual wield crossbow. I think they did that just to crap on AOC. And then you got longbow and then you have staff currently. Alright, what am I doing? Enter the house. I'm sure there's a way in the back or something. No? Over here? Perfect. A breakable wall. Let's do it. Oh, that's cool. Dang, how many wolves was it? Barbarian. Holy crap. I love that play on words, and it's the first time I've ever heard it. Barbarian. That's so cool. You better lock down that name change. Okay, I'll come on out and help you. I've also been considering great sword, sword and shield. I think that would be fun. The reason I'm going with this is for like a paladin vibe. Um, I want to have um, some range and a way to heal myself. I love that push. Oh, another one came. Here, I'll make my camera smaller so you guys can see more of the gameplay. Sorry, I know nothing's showing right now. There we go. What is? What are they saying? What am I doing? Speak with Heffy? Who's that? Where is they at? What? Oh, this guy. <laughs> okay, so this guy I'm looking for apparently died before. Okay. Well, let's hit the road again. No more breaks until we get the village. You can do that, right? Can I please jump off this cliff? The closest thing to a tank. Oh, am I that predictable? <laughs> hey, I can switch. You know what? I tell you what. Just for just for that comment, do you got? Do you guys want to see like a ranger or do you want to see a mage? I think the mage would be more interesting. Let's let's do the mage. First person to type an answer. We'll do that. I could I can get off of that. I I do love me some tanky. I like being a tanky boy. I ain't gonna lie. Mage and Staff and daggers is so it's such good mobility, man. It's such good mobility. Let me um I think I'm gonna do that. Mm, let's do it. 
Like CJ from GTA? That's funny. Uh, here, look, I'm gonna have to redo my skill bar really quick, you guys. To wait, where is my uh? Oh, I didn't do it right here. So this will be our mage bar, no dagger bar, and then we bar swap, and then we select the wand. There we go. Now we can do our skill bar. Uh, let's do this. Oh, you know what? I've, I've been making this hard. Oh well, I'll do that next time. But there is a simpler way for me to do this. We do those, that, that, and that. Okay, so we'll do some staff and daggers just for this quest right here. How you doing, Christian? Welcome on in. The Ashes Ranger go Ranger, but you can go Mage, I guess. All right, bet. Ranger is a uh, dude. I, I was I was loving me some crossbow, longbow. Not crossbow. Yeah, crossbow longbow. Oh, these wolves are dead. Interesting. You gotta speak with me again, bro. I done got enough dialogue for your whole life story. Okay. We, uh oh. Uh oh. We'll do our chain lightning right here because it's an AOE. Oh, the daggers are so quick. That that dagger is basically makes you a night blade or like a rogue. Think of the daggers as the rogue class, the staff as the mage class, the wand and tome as the cleric class. Sword and shield obviously is the tank. Great sword is the fighter, and you can obviously combine them. I gotta speak with him again, bro. I got some feedback already. <laughs> I got some feedback from our review. Why can't he just say that? And then it's just like some background footage. Why do I gotta do that? A 20 minute quest? My goodness. So all those wolves that's been dead are now alive. Let's go. This is pretty cool. The wolves have been, oh boy. All right, chat, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is he distracting them? Wait, am I not going that way? No? Where, where am I supposed to go? Am I following him? Which way is the village? I, I guess I'm going this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's a cool combination. Look at that. Look at that mobility. And then look, we can go like this. Go right behind them with the dagger ability. Fireball. Chain lightning. Do some autos, some autos, some autos. Actually, let's click that guy. Chain lightning would be perfect. Yep. S key, S key gaming, S key gaming, S key gaming. Got him. But that's pretty much what the staff and daggers looks like. That looks like Vex. Here, I'm about to go back to my, uh, that's enough of that. <laughs> I want to go back to my uh, sword and shield. If you guys don't mind. I want to do sword and shield great sword, but. Hmm. I like having a, a ranged option to be real. So we'll keep, we'll stick with the paladin. I'll just reset my skills back and then we'll get going. We'll stick with the Paladin vibes for now. We'll stick with the Paladin vibes for now. I need to see if I can morph some of these things soon. And you have passives and all that stuff, of course. Yeah, you can go Staff and Shield. So that's the cool thing. Thank you for uh, asking that question, Kawada. So unlike New World, uh, where, you know, Spear scales off Dex, uh, Bow scales off Dex, you can do Bow, Sword and Shield, or you can do Bow, Hammer, but Hammer scales off Strength. In this game, you don't have to worry about that. You can literally do any weapon combination, and it's pretty freaking sick, man. So I can do Staff, Sword, and Shield, which I would love to do a Battle Mage. 
I like the uh Oh, what's going on here? Are these friends of foes? Oh, okay, that's her father. I'm guessing I'm gonna go try to find the boy that ran off to the wolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me some XP, though. Thirty minutes deep. <laughs> Where's the one VX gameplay? We're we're getting there. We're gonna do the first one VX on Throne of Liberty. Oh, this is a this thing again. Wait, was that all a vision? What? Game is looking beautiful, yeah. Oh, I'm sure there's some pay to win elements. Irrelevant to me right now. Yes, the Elden Ring DLC tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. I'm excited. That's basically like your little combat pet. That thing right there throws you some heals occasionally too. I guess that was a vision. All right. Kirk with the $10 don on new game hype. Let's go. Thank you so much, Kirk. Appreciate you, buddy. You know what? Let's take a look at the skill trees. I low key wonder if I'd like the great sword, uh, sword and shield combination still. Just to be melee. I like having a way to heal myself with this tome. This skill right here, little burst heal. All right, uh, you're at the same point. So how do I get you in group? I clicked you. Sounds. <laughs> let's go duel. Let's go duel. I'm about to get. Well, let's go duel. Let's go do our first duel. Look at this beautiful view. Look at that beautiful render distance. Uh, so there is like a cool little arena, actually. We can see the arena from here. That's literally the arena. Is that the arena? I think it is. Nah, it's probably not. There's a great sword. Yeah, I want to do my new world build, which is a uh, sword and shield. Great sword. So let's do this. Let's do. Let's do great sword, and we'll drag our great sword skills down. I don't remember the passes for great sword, but they're they're pretty cool too. All right. Let's go. I don't remember where the arena is. Look, you can just be rolling with your squad and just flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the arena. This is literally the arena right here. We'll start to descend. Let's go. So I made the mistake of fighting someone higher level than me. And their gear is so high level that every attack missed them. Because uh, being that this is a tab target game, essentially, dodge chance is a trait. Like, it is an attribute. So, like, <laughs> they can dodge all your hits if they got enough uh, points into evasion. Please don't attack me. I'm only here to fight this guy. Let's go, hounds. The target is protected. Okay. You are too far. Wait, is it ready? Yes, we can attack. Oh, what's that ability? Oh, good heal. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this feels good. We switched to the great sword autos. 
Oh, I gotta get out of that. Uh uh, go back to the sword and shield. Okay, okay. Is that other guy interrupting our fight? I can't tell. I think he was. Woo, we won! What's this gravestone thing, I wonder? I wonder if there's a significant difference to it. Dude, this combat feels so good. Oh, okay, just wonder, have you kept up with the game? Yeah. Dagger and wand would be a really good combination. PvP combat state will end in 45 seconds. Dude, the combat is... Dude, let me go. Uh, and here's the thing. You can uh, refill your resources. Like the that one station on ESO. So now I'm back at full health and me and him can start fairly. I don't know what this is, but we did it. Okay. And then me and him can kind of fight in this corner again. All right, are we are we able to attack each other now? Yep, we can. Oh, I stunned him. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, I missed. Good move. Nice. Making distance. Oh, I'm out of a uh, stam there. Oh, my stam is drained. Oh, I missed my gap closer again. That's my stun. Oh, I gotta get out of that. I can't be sitting in his little AOE. That thing does some damage. I think it's a dot. Oh, mistimed that. Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm so dead. No, he got me. Good fight. Good fight. I took too many of those AOE ground based dots. Uh, Can I just. Oh, yeah, I can resurrect at the arena. Dude, this feels good. This feels good. Oh, I still got to redo my uh, resources. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Never th PC over console. Never thought I'd say it, but PC is the future. That's why you got mine. Yeah. I'm getting New World Black Desert. All yes, I like that. I like that. I like that take. I like that take. He's a Google Translate for now. Uh, let's do one more, Hounds. Oh, by the way, this arena is pretty cool. Uh, so say you're hosted a tournament. You can like have you, you got a telescope to uh get like a little bird's eye view like that if you need it to. All right. Can we fight up here? I doubt it. Nah, we can't. That'd be pretty cool though. Oh, you're asking me to try wand and dagger. Got you, got you. I'll do wand and dagger for you. All right. Uh, we're ready. Jump to start. Oh, he's just eating that whole stun. Oh, I'm stunning a lot. I gotta get out of that, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I got the hang of it. Okay, good blocking, good blocking. Oh, I gotta get out of that. Get out of that. Oh, we got him stunned, I think. Oh, we got him this time. Oh, get out of that, get out of that. Oh, I didn't make it out in time. That sucks. Okay, okay. Oh, we got the stun, I think. No. And there's stats for stun chance and whatnot. Let's go. Good fight. Good fight. I was better with my blocks and stuff this time. So here's what's funny. These guys are high level. Uh, I can't even attack him. Watch this. Yeah, see how it says miss? I don't even do nothing to that guy. I can't even touch that, man. All right, let's get our stats. And let's see if we can group with hounds. Actually, here, I'm going to clip that. That's good background footage. I'm only going to show the parts where I win, though. Oh, I'm not recording. Well, at least I got the stream. Just don't have the income for 
Oh, yeah, for a PC, yeah. You know what's good, though, is once you do get your PC, once you save up, put some money aside, Throne and Liberty is a free game. How about that? How's that to blow your mind? Throne and Liberty is a free game. That's so cool. Um, okay, how do I get in group with hounds? I think I could manage party. Here, let me find hounds. Where are you at, hounds? There you are. Uh, let me click you, right? Okay, you sent me an invitation. Accept. While you're in a party with another player, you can select your party leader's current target. Holy crap, look at that. I mean, this is not nothing new to tab target games. So I can make sure that Hounds and I are selecting the same target by clicking T. Ain't that really cool? Yes, it will be a free game. I am in Korea right now, David. Um, T for party. So basically, I can click that button, T. And then I'll automatically be focusing the same person he's focusing. That gets really gross in tab target games when there's large scale warfare. Like the person shot calling or leading the group can just say, all right, everybody focus this person. And they'll automatically all do that same projectile to the same guy. Yeah. Um, here, let's, uh, where do we want to go? Where's the next quest? Um, I got this quest. Can we share quests? I wonder. Oh, wait, here, let me clear my notifications. What we got? Is this a new wolf? Oh, because we did that quest. Can we now transform into him? We sure can. Cool. I got to do this codex stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Someone asked for wand and dagger. So let's do that. I'll try to take a couple of requests. Not too much to where it slows me down because I am trying to level my weapons. But I think that's the one comment. We haven't done that one yet. So I don't mind showing that. So we'll do that. And that. And then we'll do that for the next couple of uh, combat instances. The way I can make this simple, instead of taking off my skill bar, what I'll do is I'll drag that to these buttons, right? So that way it's an easy thing to jump off. Uh, we'll do that. But yeah, great sword felt good. There was a couple times where I was wondering like if I would have had that burst heal, would it have felt better? I think I'm gonna settle on sword and shield and wand, but great sword seems fun. I gotta look at the passives to know though. All right, so now we are good. Oh, that's not even assigned. My little uh, burst heal is not even assigned, but it's okay. We, we 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 probably won't need it, especially in group. So, but just know that it does exist. Let's um, let me look on the map. Oh, here's a good look at the map if you guys are curious. That's what the map is looking like. Uh, I have a quest right here, a hero's last uh flight or whatever. I guess we'll place a pin there but yeah we'll head up that way i don't know if he can see it or if we will be in the same quest progress or what but it's up there what i think we'll just take the main road let's just take the main road i don't know how to i suck at grappling which i think we would want to go up this road does this lead us out of town no, we need to go this way through here. That great sword hit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stick with it, man. <laughs> and the way I'm thinking about it, there's going to be armor attributes, right? For melee hit damage and whatnot. It'll be easier for my build if I just do two melee weapons, but having a ranged weapon, especially one that has a capability of healing me could be good. But then I start spreading my stats a little bit more thin. You know what I'm saying? Do you have that Kim Jong-un picture? <laughs> Hey, that's none of your business. Yeah, dude, everybody's in their MMO waiting room, right? My waiting room is, uh, yeah, Korea is very beautiful. Look at the graphics in it. Uh, my waiting room has been ESO and New World until Ash has come out. Uh, I was playing Guild Wars 2 on the weekend. I uninstalled that to make room for this because I don't play it that much. I don't, I don't care for the PvP in Guild Wars 2, um, but I love the game. I like, I just like that game for PvE. So Hounds has this quest as well. So I wonder like, oh wait, what's this? Infinity wheel. That's just a cool sounded thing. Stream has been pretty smooth lately. 
Hamel, the sacred deer. We're gonna have to fight Wolf Boy. <laughs> yeah, South. <laughs> It's always wolves, right? <laughs> I, I think that's just this little story quest line that I'm following. <gasps> I have a theory, chat. I have a theory. Okay, I have a theory chat. Whoa, whoa. Fast forward in time. Oh my goodness. So I have a theory chat. I remember seeing something on the trailers a while ago that um, the type of morph that you are determines interactions in the world. Uh, like if you're a sheep, a lot of wolves will chase you. I got a feeling that if I become one of these wolves, maybe if I'm transformed, um, maybe I can sneak past them. They won't attack me. That's my theory. So where are we going? It says we need to go this way. Look at that. Look at that render distance, man. Towns are a safe zone, of course. Yeah, get your hopes up could be a thing. Never know. Meanwhile, I'm addicted to it and it's not even out yet. Yeah, that render distance is insane, dude. It's and this is Unreal Engine 4. Imagine what a good graphically Unreal Engine 5 game could do. A lot of cutscenes, huh? For MMO. So I bet that typically is visual, but there's fog covering it. <laughs> UE4 once again. <laughs> you can get a different one of these, I think. I'm getting Disney vibes. You hear this music? You fell? This is big Disney vibes. <laughs> Disney Korea's wildin'. That was cute. Oh, we leveled up, chat. Oh, and I acquired something. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I got too much things just unlocked. That is a boat. Surely it's not player control. Nah. Look at the weather change. Anyways, um, get this really quick. Uh, I guess I'll spend my attribute points really quick. Um, I unlocked a new vendor kind of thing, but before I do that, I want to level up. Uh, what button is it? I had it hotkeyed. Uh, I'll just use it from the menu. Uh, character info. We're going to put another point into strength. So, oh, yeah, I didn't go over this. Um, yeah, Disney and DreamWorks. 
Um, so stats. Strength is basis for physical feats. Provides strong defense in addition to max health, health regen, max damage, and min damage. I think this is a super loaded stat. Yes, it's definitely worth it so far. And, I mean, it's a free game, right? <laughs> so it's always going to be worth its weight. Um, so this is your max health, your health regen, and your max min damage. Like... That's perfect for me as a tank. I need health regen and max health. So all the, it's a loaded stat for me. Dexterity is going to be your uh, proficiency stat. Increases quickness and critical attacks in addition to evasion and max damage. So if you want to stack up a lot of uh, evasion slash like chances for attacks just to straight up miss you, you want to invest in dexterity and, of course, get you some evasion gear. Wisdom. So this is going to be for you mages out there. The foundational mental stat increases max mana and mana regen in addition to cooldown abilities and max damage. So even as a tank, my abilities are using mana, right? Like you see that blue bar when I'm casting skills. I can run out of mana. So even as a tank, this is an important stat because I need mana to cast skills. So mana regen is going to be really, uh, really good. Um, and it's also cooldown reduction. So if I want to spam my taunts or my skills more, this is going to be really good. Like max wisdom is going to be really good. Ping is surprisingly perfect, dude. I'm streaming and this like it's it's good. Uh, perception. I don't remember this one, actually. Basis for the senses heightens awareness during bass. Oh, yeah, this is your accuracy of attack. So how there's an evasion. There's a counter to that, which is accuracy to kind of nullify those. Um, so it increases the accuracy of attacks, CC effects and enhances time boost abilities and increases max damage and min damage. Interesting. So CC effects. I wonder if it's the duration or the chance to CC. I think it's the chance to CC, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to get 20 in the strength and then I'm going to start invest in elsewhere but obviously each strength is going to be my go-to and then we're going to want a little bit of wisdom but yeah i'm still stuck between i know i'm going to do sword and shield but i don't know if i'm going to do uh tome on the back bar or uh great sword on the back bar okay uh but yeah here's your weapon slots you got headgear cloak gauntlets chest legs foot uh necklace two rings a bracelet which is interesting and a belt so yeah um we unlocked a new vendor in town i think that's what's over here but let's finish this quest uh we'll continue doing some dagger and uh tome gameplay for the whoever requested that uh is it down here yeah Speak with that person over there. Okay. I wish there was more repels. As I say that, there is one. Oof, I double clicked that. That was scary. I thought I was going to die to fall damage. The classes, I explained it earlier, but it's weapons. Think of weapons in New World. There's no races. There's no classes. You are the two weapons that you choose. And that determines your class. Uh, what, who am I over here for? Oh, this person. So, contract manager. So I bet this is going to be our main way of getting gold, is running contracts. Mark the occasion. Okay, here we go. Tale of the Lost Bow. So we can choose which contract that we're going to complete. I would like a combat one, if possible. Uh, okay, so somebody from the Wolf Association. A surprising number of hunters lost their bows during the blah, blah, blah. Anyone willing to head out and collect these bows for us? So this is a fetch quest. Oh, but we get even... Okay, so here's something really cool. And Ashes of Creation stream this month is for commissions, which is essentially going to be the same thing from my understanding. So here's what's really cool. The, the contract is for us to collect hunter bows, but they will give us even more if we also clear out the wool. So that the combat portion is actually an optional objective. So if we clear out the wolves in the area and go get the bows, we're going to get even more on this contract, which is going to give us gold, XP, and this contract rights, all this other stuff. Interesting. Let's go with this one, Hounds. Uh, hopefully you can choose the same one. 
And I bet these get more in depth uh, the more we go on, huh? I, I'm assuming I can only choose one at a time. I'm just going to do one. Okay. Oof, my game froze there for a second. <laughs> um, What else? I wanted to check out that vendor here in town before I left as well. The one right there, 312. I think that's... Which one's my contract? Get contract one out of four. Can I can I get more than one? Here, hold on. Can I Can I have more than one is my question. Okay, so this one's just a kill one. Except. Oh yeah, I can get more than one. Bet, 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 bet. So let's do a couple of the wolf ones. Yep, all these are wolves. So that's three. Uh, Hounds, try to do the same. I got a bunch of these are just straight up kill wolves quests. <laughs> Whoever said that earlier was right. It's just a bunch of wolf quests right now. Early game. Okay, so we got four quests. Oh my goodness, chat. Nothing similar to a bard. The most support weapon is the wand and tome, which we're going to be using here shortly. Um. By the way, um, I'm sure this question is going to come up, so let me show you. This game does have controller support, so watch this. Well, pay attention to all my UI. Three, two, one. I'm just going to hit a button on my controller that I have plugged in. Look at that. So instantly, we have controller UI. You notice a lot of things change there. So I'm covering up just a little bit with my camera. But essentially, you hold R1 to use these four abilities. You see that? You see how it's highlighted? So I can do R1 square for that ability, R1 triangle for that ability, R1 circle for that ability. Um, my R2 will obviously be the same. So your other weapon abilities will be just like that. Um, wait, so I can hit triangle and it'll cycle through even more skills. So you can actually have the same amount that you have on mouse and keyboard, essentially. There's eight, and then eh, almost. But yeah, that's how the controller you. Uh, oh, I like. I want. I rather use a keyboard and mouse. But the controller UI is very friendly. It's very controller friendly. This game will be releasing on next gen consoles, so that's good. It's not like afterthought. It's like being integrated into the system. It's not like oh, let's just try to do some controller support. Like no, it's a part of the game. I prefer mouse and keyboard though, yeah. So these contracts, are they like pinned or where are we gonna go to complete these? This is it marked on the map automatically? Is it these things? It says wolf hunting contest there. I don't know what that is. I don't think these are our contracts. Yeah, because there's it's definitely not, because there's more than uh four of them. I actually don't know how to find my contracts on the map. We can probably pin it somehow. I don't know how we go about that. Um. Hmm. Let's click. Let me click this. Content details. How would I find these? Hmm. Interesting. I don't see them on the map. Oh, man. I keep forgetting to collect stuff. We'll upgrade our armor and stuff like that later. What is that? Oh, okay. I am I ready to go to final rewards? Yeah. Yeah? No? Why is it bringing me here, then? It says I got something in here. It says I received all these, so what is it trying to tell me? Go to final rewards. Yeah, I don't know what's happening here, but this is red, which means I have something in here I haven't collected. What is it? Interesting. Maybe it'll just tell me that a new one a lot, I guess, because I don't know. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, I'll figure that out later. Something I'm missing right in my face, I'm sure. When is it released in the West? They haven't said yet. 
set up. I don't know where my contracts are. They're not showing up that way. Maybe it doesn't hot. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me try one more thing, chat. Let me try one more thing. Um, let's go to our, it should be like journal or something. Wait, what's relationships? Friends. Oh, except friend requests. Let's go. That'll make that easier. Uh, leveling log. Claim reward. Oh, by the way, you get bombarded with rewards in this game. Like, it has much uh, pay to win slash gotcha, like, dopamine rush kind of things. Like, me and Hals was looking at it last night. Like, the amount of things I got rewarded for. And you got this, like, battle pass. You got, like, four battle passes. Look at this. What? Bro, what? That's got to be a bug. I haven't played this game for 10 days. What is happening? What? Can I claim this too? Why not? <laughs> okay. I don't know what all that stuff was, but... Pardon me, chat. I'm trying to see what's going on. Okay, so what's this? Oh! So that thing at the beginning, remember I was like, um... Asana, thank you for being here. You remember that thing at the beginning that I was like, uh, we can probably change it out for something in the cash shop. I think it died during that quest or something. And now we can choose different ones. These cute little childish things or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, I guess. Uh, all right. Battle pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free pass stuff. Premium. Yeah, I don't feel like messing with this. I just want to do some quests. I'll do that on my own time. I want you guys to sit here and stare at UI the whole time. So let's uh let's go up here. See, I, it doesn't let me hit it mid-air sometimes. It's kind of scary. There it is. Okay, I'll just eat that fall damage. My goodness. <laughs> Let me up here. Okay. Yeah, you took some fall damage too. It's kind of clunky. Was it easy to install? Install, yes. Uh, hit me up on Discord. You're not gonna kind of try to walk you through it. Here, let's go to this quest number one here. I'll do the contracts later. I'm assuming you got this as well. What is that? What is this thing? What? Freak is that? What is this? I don't know what's going on chat. Okay, anyways, what's all this way? I see yellow things popping up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I know where we need to go. I tried to... That was not my fault! I was spamming spacebar and bro wouldn't transform. Well, at least we're down here now. Here's where we get the contract stuff from. We're collecting the hunter's bow. Here's the wolves we're gonna need. So we can, we can do a couple of contracts at the same time. So we'll go ahead and give you a preview of... Uh, Essentially, what Dagger and Tome looks like, as someone uh, wanted to see. So that, you got like this claw, this little rapid strike there. So you have that. You have this ability, which imbues your weapons with poison. And it's going to apply to both bars. But the best and coolest thing about the dagger so far, I'm still low level, but watch this, watch this. You can just teleport behind them, the target that you have marked. Oh, I didn't equip my defense thing for this, so I have literally none.
So let's do a little bit more of the tome. See, if we're on a dagger bar, but we're still putting that poison on them that we got from our... Uh, we're on a tome bar, excuse me, and we're still putting that poison on them. Watch this. We're going to teleport. It's a really cool weapon. All right. Oh my gosh, they keep coming. S King with range is very strong in this game. You can just do this in the melee. A lot of the melee guys will never catch up to you. We're collecting stuff for our contract. Uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and put on my uh, normal sword and shield. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the great sword, man. So we can get good with that. Uh, let me clean up my skills UI. I need to choose some different skills and morph some things. <gasps> chain hook! I am so excited. Let's go. Let's get that off. 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 And I think we unlocked a new skill. Death Blow. Is this an execute? Oh, if they're stunned, it does more damage. Ooh, we got two new skills to play with. I can't wait to use the grapple hook. No, it doesn't look bad at all. That 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 uh, gap closer push or whatever. It's like one of my favorite abilities. Oh, look at that chain hook. Let's go. Hmm. Nine. Oh, I'm just messing with my uh, button layout here. All right, so I can rope this sheep in. How much distance is it, though? Wait, why do I have to go so close? There we go. Just kind of tank for hounds. I'm low on mana. Perfect defense. So that's that perfect parry that I was talking about earlier. I'm low on mana chat. I need to find a way to get back mana. We'll just not use skills for a little bit. Let's swap to the great sword. So my great basic attacks are doing 30, 51, 42. Let's bar swap. Yeah, the great sword's definitely hitting harder. Okay. Let's do a big pool, hounds. We're gonna do a big pool. Oh, hunter's bow. Oh, we don't share the stuff we gather because it's a contract. Okay. No, he interrupted me. All right, we're going to do a big pool, Hounds. Let's find somewhere where a lot of people aren't. Uh, Oh, wait. Here, let me test this. If I'm a wolf, will these guys not attack me? Let's see. Yeah, he's not getting aggroed. But as soon as I come out of wolf, will it aggro? Oh, I'm not going to find out. Will it aggro? No, nah, they're just not hostile. Okay. Going to do a big pool. Big pool, big pool. Look at that perfect defense. We got to heal for it. My mana is still low from that other fight. That's crazy. I need to start using my consumables. F2 to get some mana. There we go. I think that did it. I need to make that a more convenient button to hit. Oh, fall back, hounds. Nice, that was a big pull right there. All right, so I need to make sure my hotkeys are more convenient because hitting F1 to heal is going to feel bad. 
Um, what I would like to do, instead of doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I would like to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then shift one, shift two. I'm gonna try to see, I'll, and this would be a good chance for you guys to see what the uh, setting. Ooh, I got new uh, titles. Uh, uh, making history. Here, let me play with the UI and uh, button layout really quick, chat. So I know it's under shortcut. No, is it, yeah, shortcuts. So we need to find where it says. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll make uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll do shift one. Yeah, shift two. Shift three. Shift four. Yeah, and then a slot 11 um, can be shift five. I mean, and then shift six. Now all that is perfectly filled, and now what we can do with our consumables, which I think is whatever is F1 for these consumables, what we will then do is make that simple things like uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? Here we go. We'll make that 7. Uh, we'll make that's going to be our heal pot. That's going to be that. That's going to be 9. And then this can be uh, 10 or 0. Uh, and yeah, I'm using an MMO mouse. How you doing, Nexi? Magplar main? Let's go. You got to... Oh, 5 a.m.? Dang. Have I played Blade and Soul? I have not. I have not. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Dagger and Wand is definitely... Dagger is basically... If you've ever played a Rogue or Nightblade, like, yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, mana regen is going to be super important. Oh, that's a person. I didn't know that was a I didn't know that was a person chat. <laughs> I was chasing that wolf like, "Get back here." It was a whole player. I love that move. I'm trying to get used to my shift buttons, chat. Sorry if the combat looks slower than it was. Okay. I'm gonna do a big pull. Where's Hounds? He's that way. Okay. Hey, we're gonna do a big pull, Hounds. I don't know leash ranges, but let's test the tankiness at our low level. We got this one, that one, and this one, because I don't know how far they'll pull. All right, here we go. All right. We pushed three of them right there. I'll pull this guy. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, I'm getting a hang of it. A little bit. I'm getting a hang of it. Is this available in NA or do you have to do some extra stuff? Some extra stuff. I'm in Korea. Um, Not bad, not bad. I'm enjoying this. Uh, How many more contracts? Click to claim rewards. What is that? Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is because there was also an event going on. Um, possess 30 wolf tail during a whatever. I s oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Hounds and I was talking about this uh, yesterday. I will go over this once we get in town. No, nah, I should do it right now. So to upgrade skills, it's kind of complicated. So you need like training books and proficiency books, whatever. So I chose my first upgrade as the sword and shield uh, book. And so now we need another one. Should I go sword and shield again or should I go great? So I'm going to go great sword. 
Because I think I chose... Yeah, let's go Great Sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and... Dang it. I should have went with the Wand and Tome. I'm tripping. I should have held off on that until I knew what my secondary weapon was going to be. It looks like it's going to be Great Sword. <laughs> As I'm about to switch to my weapon. Yeah, hold on. Hounds has one of those too, which is really good. I, cause I, I want to do this so I can uh, test healing other people. Like, do I gotta press on hounds to heal them, or how does that work? Oh, we unlocked a new cleric ability: corrupted magic circle. It causes a weaken. Interesting. Okay. All right. Anyways, let's get back to the uh, contracts. What else? So I, I only have one more contract to do. What is it? Well, whatever it is, I got to kill these things, so. Uh-oh. Oh, do I gotta stand still while I cast that? Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh, I healed hounds. That's awesome. Pull that guy. Oh, he died anyway. Okay. Okay. Uh, I still got a uh, still gotta kill these wolves. Oh, this is my last one. It says collect wolf faded tail fur. Let's do this again. That's a cool little spell. Is that all of them? Yep. That's all of them. We helped this guy, so he gives us a hunter pouch. Got six gold as well. So, can I heal hounds? I think that heal went to him. I I, I couldn't tell because we were so close. All right, so let's get back to town and turn these contracts in. I think we have all of them. Um, here, I'll click this reward here. Oh. I did not mean to attack this thing. Yeah, I like the great sword better. I like being melee, I guess. Um, I think I'll actually teleport instead of uh, riding back. Uh, is it still free? It's still free. That's fast travel in an MMO right now, by the way. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah, straight like that. Instant. During the beta, you could actually see yourself, like, go over the world. Uh, but I guess they improved the fast travel speed so much that you no longer get to see that because it's super fast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is the contract coin merchant. We can purchase stuff with the stuff that we just got from doing those contracts, I guess. Okay. Quality weapon growth stone just to increase our weapon level and all that stuff, I'm sure. Same thing with the armor and accessories. Um, Should I be saving these? What is that? Special... Litograph, special resistance longbow, bind chance 175. Interesting. Um, I'm just gonna keep it simple and grab this right quick. Okay, can I sell stuff? I could sell stuff. He's a general merchant, but this is where I'm supposed to turn into this quest. No loading screen, dude. No loading screen. Okay. Okay, so they're telling me to go up here. Okay, 
Accessories. So now we're going to probably start getting jewelry. I would like to craft accessories. Leveled up, baby. Level 12. Um, I don't have this. So cool thing about the crafting. Some other games have this. You can click on the thing that is needed to craft that and it'll tell you where to go get it if that makes sense i forgot how you do it let me see uh i did it yesterday but i think it's got to be in your inventory I forgot how it is i think maybe if you've collected it before it tells you where it's at has drop chance and from oh craft chance information yeah so we would have to get that material to complete that crafting quest i ain't worried about the crafting quest right now Hmm. Wait. Bro, I might buy me some gear. Oh, this is me crafting. Do I want to craft? Do I have a quest for this? I think I want to make a new helmet. I don't feel like a cool knight or a tank without my heavy armor helmet. So maybe that's what we'll do. Do I at least have a quest for this, though? I don't see a quest marker above her like I do for the accessories crafter. Um, there's the weapon crafter there. Maybe that should be my priority is weapons. Let's just do it, chat. So which one? Oh, look at these. These look all right. So we're going to go with either this one, Holy Knight, which, you know, that now fit the cleric vibe. Or we can go with the Shock Trooper Visor. So range defense, collision chance. Hmm. And it tells you, obviously, what you're going to lose, which is the 10 range hit that I have on my current hat. This one has 37.5 mana regen. Maybe this is the route we should go. It has 46 range defense, 42 melee. This one has a lot more melee defense. Okay, so here's the trade-off. So this one is like balance, 46-42. This one's 46-72, so more melee defense. But it's collision chance or mana regen. I think we want the mana regen right now because, yeah. You made a cape? Oh, I didn't even think about going to the other slots. Oh! Okay. I ain't gonna lie. A black robe would be pretty cool. Because we're probably gonna get headgear and stuff from the quest that we're doing, right? As quest rewards or out in the wild. The cloak is probably something we're not getting for a while. So, yeah. What are the cloak traits? A little bit of defense, critical hit, and health regen. I'm all about that. This one's ranged evasion by 40. That's good. And it has mana regen. We don't want the critical hit. Ooh, critical hit health regen or ranged evasion mana regen. It's only 7.5 health regen. I'm not worrying about that. I think I'm going to go with the cloak. You got me wanting to do that. I'm going to do the cape. I'm going to do the cape. Yeah, it's a white cape. I'm a... I'm going to go with that. You're right. That good shout. Good shout, hounds. I'm going to do that. It's going to be all my materials, but hey, we're going to have a uh we're going to have a cape. Craft was successful. All right. And I'm assuming we don't have enough to Oh, we still have enough to make our uh our helmet. We're going to go with the mana regen one though. Maybe I shouldn't be Maybe I should save some stuff. Eh, no, I got to get my mana regen helmet. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. And craft. Okay. Watch me be so mad when I realize I'm supposed to save all this stuff. Let's do a weapon now. I'm doing everything except for the active course. Let me make a jewelry thing. Oh, wait. I didn't have enough for jewelry stuff anyway. I don't have no jewelry materials. Let's go. Let's make a weapon if we can. Here we go. Okay. 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 I have a green sword and shield. You did the brown one? Ooh. Uh, I have a green sword and shield, so I should focus on a great sword. But let's just take a look at the bows and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Here's some tomes, wands, staff, mana regen, critical hit, max mana plus 900 just for wielding that. Some cool stuff in there. So let's take a look at our options for greatsword. I think I can make all of these. Yep, I can make all three of the green ones. The blue ones, I am missing stuff, obviously. The blue mats. Go to chest. Here, I'll go back to chest. 
Oh, I did have a quest. Lovely. The chess piece. Ooh. I see. Okay, we'll go to that. Let's make sure we got enough for our weapons. I think they use different kind of materials, so we'll be fine. But let's craft our weapon. Alright, so we got this one, which is mana regen. And I'm a, I wonder if the traits only work while that weapon is equipped and the passives as well. That's something I don't know. I'm going to have to look up online. Uh, health regen 45. So is that just my health recovery or am I getting health regen as I hit with this weapon? I'm assuming it's health regen because I think it just ticks like that. So I'm liking this one over the mana regen. I think I got enough mana regen now with my helmet. What's this one? Stun chance. Stun chance is important for a tanky boy. And it has one strength on it. That's a whole attribute. Um, I'm going to do a health regen. You can level each to three. Green staff plus three. Okay. I'm going to go with this one with the health regen. Let's do it, chat. How much gold do I have? I am balling. I have 262,000. <laughs> At least I think that's a lot. It's, it's probably not a lot if I have it already. So we made us a great sword. Look at us getting gear. Okay. I have a green sword and shield already, so I ain't worried about these. I'll 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 use what I have. Look at that max health. So yeah, I think the stats are always active. Definitely always active because there's no way they'd give me like max health on one bar, right? Traits are probably per bar, but I think the attributes that it's gonna be two bars. Um let me double check something at the uh, accessory guy really quick. I just want to make sure I can. Oh, okay, what's this? What's this? Oh, these are the mats. Oh, you trying to tell me? I can make the blue mats with the green mats. I can refine it, chat. So. Interesting. So what did I need for a necklace, for example? I needed five pure gold, five magic powder, five crystal. So I can literally make most of that stuff. Look at that. I can make that. I can make all of them. Bro. Okay, so let's do this. Let's let's start with the necklace, for example. The necklace says, let's see what we need. Uh, melee defense, melee endurance, magic defense, health regen, mana regen, cooldown percentage. I have a look at the green ones. That's probably what I need to focus on, huh? Let me double check. Yeah, because I can only make this green. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can actually make the uh, blue stuff. Uh, I want to make my chess piece. Before I start messing with stuff. Yeah, I figured it was the same material. So if we wanted to focus on something right now and we want to get like a blue chess piece, I think we'll still need to go farm this, but we can make the rare mana steel, the rare magic powder, right? Here's the rare magic powder. We can make that. What about the rare mana steel? We cannot make that because we need the green things. Okay. I just wanted to know. I just wanted to know. We'll just make a green chest for right now, just so we have something. Max health, 75. Strength, 1. Hit, 25. Let's just craft this really quick and call it a day. I'm not going to spend too much in here because there's no telling what we can get from quest rewards, right? I don't want to do all this and then turns out I get a free chest piece on my next quest, right? So let's just be satisfied there. Let's actually equip our stuff. Oops. Oops. No, 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 no. Cancel. Cancel. I actually need to assign cancel auto attacks to something. Okay. Dude, can you stop? Can you, can you, can you stop? Stop! <laughs> How do I... Okay, I need to tab that to something. I need to hotkey cancel autos to something. Alright. So, we got our helmet equipped. We have our cloak. That is so cool. Chest piece? It probably would have looked cooler if I showed you guys during the uh, in the inventory screen, but let's take a look. Character info. We're, we're on the come up. I mean, I look basic, but we're on the come up compared to what we were wearing, right? So now we got some stats. Now we just hit 20 strength as well. We can 
actually hide our helmet if we wanted to, but I actually rather have a helmet. And um, we'll apply that. Did we ever put our greatsword on? We did not. We did not. So put our greatsword here. There we go. That's that's kind of sick. Look at that pose. I am excited. I am excited. Okay. Dude, nothing like that new MMO feel. This is a... Uh, yeah, yeah. I ain't winning no MMO fashion contest, but we balling right now. Okay, let's go do some quests. I want to do the mainline quest, but I still got to go this way, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's far away. Do we have a waypoint that way? Where is this taking us to? I can't even see it on the map. Hello? It says like 1,306 meters this way. Hmm. I'm not seeing it on our map here. Maybe if we zoom in a little bit. Either way, I'll just teleport right here. Just right outside of town. 40 costs. Oh, I leveled up too much. Now my stuff is starting to cost. But if we go to the way shrine, that cost should go away, right? Else, no way. I'll translate that later. Oh, way shrine's this way. <laughs> else dude the new mmo feel so now the way travel no it still costs it just costs money now <laughs> teleporting as a wolf look at that fast travel hello now we're over here okay we're a little bit closer it's still 900 and something meters away and i don't think i have any way shrines on the way there so let's just go let's just go oh wait is it this Contract manager. That's probably where we need to go. I finally see it on the map. I didn't have nothing near it, so it's fine. Anyways, let's go. Is Hounds here? Perfect. Let's go. Roll out. Dude, I'm loving it, man. I know, like I said, it's the MMO new feel, you know. It's it's something new. It's a new shiny toy. But I am very satisfied. And the reason I'm very satisfied is like I was discussing earlier is um, I went into this game admittingly wanting to hate play it like how you hate watch something. I wanted to hate play it. I didn't expect to like it because of uh, my previous experience with it. I tried to transform to an eagle there, uh, but the combat has improved so much. It's actually among my favorite combat. Oh, we're in a goblin field now. Do y'all really want this smoke? I am dying to test my new gear. Oh, I never slotted my greatsword skills. I got to do that after this. Bro, I have no greatsword skills. Perfect block. I love that system. That's another way combat feels amazing in this game. You got to freaking parry, dog. Oh, I had the great sword equipped, but yeah, I just don't have any skills equipped. I can still keep it out for auto, so. I'm pulling him. Get over here. Okay, here. I'm sorry. I forgot to equip my great sword skills, chat. Here we go. I'll worry about my skills and stuff later. Talk about it on a podcast? I shall. I shall. Um, let's just run past these guys. Let's get to this destination. Man. No. I'm sorry, bro. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. No MMO has had this render distance ever, right? Not one that I've played, at least. I'm sure there's maybe one I'm not aware of. But the render distance on this game is crazy. Like, if I got high enough, I could still see town back that way that I came from. I bet you we will. If we get high enough high enough up there, I bet you we'll see it. I think that's a, like a little random quest over there. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a person. You know what? I want the smoke. Oh, we got an elite here. We got an elite hounds. Oh, he tried to go for hounds. Oh, 
Uh oh, perfect block. I think I blocked that. Let's go, we got him stunned. Oh, let's keep moving. Keep moving, he's spinning. Get away from there, hounds. Bro, that's legit, that's legit, that's legit. Yeah, interrupted his uh, heavy attack there. That purple ball, that bubble or whatever. That's what that is. Oh, nice counter. All right, we're gonna pull him from hounds just in case. Oh, that's good. Use a great sword. Do our great sword combos. Perfect block. Perfect block, let's go. Let's go, level them, baby, let's go. And we'll get your minions. We'll get your minions. And you don't have to bar swap. It's just seamless, like, swapping between my greatsword and my uh, sword and shield. This is perfect block. Look at that perfect block, bro. I'm getting good with that. I'm getting good with the perfect block. Holy crap. We leveled up, chat. Can we, can we, can we catch our breath? That was fun. I, I need to... I got two skill points to spin. Oh, so this takes two skill points to level up to the next one. I want to level up my gap closer. What does leveling up this do? Just damage increases. This one's block chance increases. This is cooldown increase. What about the great sword? Valiant Brawl. I'm going to clip that. Am I recording? I'm not recording. Sorry, I got it on stream. Each, uh, I don't have any specific great sword ability that I'm excited to upgrade right now. I'll wait because this is the most important thing to upgrade for me. And we got passes we can upgrade. Like, this is straight up just max health. This is evasion. Evasion? Man, I'll mess with that later off stream because I, I'm, I'm going to stare at that in theory craft. I'm sorry. Let's go, chat. PvP going to be nuts, dude. Can you imagine? Amazon silence is killing the momentum, right? It really is. Dude, we took out a boss. Oh, I never spent my skill point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just putting more into strength. I'm a strength boy. <laughs> I'll start getting mana regen and all that stuff later. Uh, how do you guys think we get up there? Do we want to take this path or can we re uh, repel up there? I don't know the right word. Is that the right word? Repel? Propel? Anchor? I don't know. Calm the mountain. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Got a book here. And then we'll... Okay. There we go. Got another book here. Oh, we got a new way shrine. Let's take a look at this. You go to Korea this weekend, dude. You got to get on here. You got, dude. It's so worth it. Who knows? Maybe I won't even play it when it comes to us. Depending on how far I get. But if it's good enough, I'll replay it, right? How many times have I replayed Elder Ring? How many times have I leveled up on ESO? It gives you a little description of the area near the Way Shrine. Yeah, I mean, if AGS announces tomorrow that, hey, we're going to release in one month, maybe even two months, maybe it's not worth it. But with the drought right now. But then again, Elden Ring DLC coming, right? All right, so what are we doing up here? Okay. Oh, I wonder what he sells. Oh, there's a new contract manager. Oh, what kind of contract she has? Oh, by the way, else these contracts are literally what commissions are. <laughs> these are the commissions. It's kind of cool how you have it laid out. So here, let's see. Uh, they have two parters. Um, so she's saying, um, fetch this star caller stone at the field, right? Like that's my contract. And then I get extra rewards if I defeat the goblins in the area around it. So this part is optional. The combat part, there's a fetch quest part, and then there's a combat part. The combat part is optional, but you get more rewards if you do said part. And yeah. I'm not going to lie. Shallow the Urtree could have my undivided attention for a bit. Yeah, man. Yeah, if I, I, I bet they release it instantly. That's what they did with the arena DLC. I'm definitely down for some Elden Ring content, honestly. 
I'll just grab some random ones. I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I just wanna check out this quest. I just wanna go explore, chat. Let's not worry about quests too much. I just wanna explore. Oh, there's gonna be a war, you say? This is the quest I wanna do. Find Watch Captain at Red Moon Lake in Karamine Forest. Let's do that. Okay. Where is that? This way. Um, let's do this. No, 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 no. I'm trying to click this. Please transform. Am I forgetting a mechanic? Because that keeps happening to me. Should I not have skipped the tutorial on that? I thought I just pressed space and then I transform. What am I forgetting? Happens to you all the time. Is it just buggy? Oh, maybe I need to be higher? Is that it? Oh, yeah. Maybe that's what it is. I need like a certain distance from the ground for it to like count. All right, so we're going to go in that direction. <gasps> what am I doing wrong? You think so? I'm not lagging with literally anything else, though. I'm not lagging with anything. Wait, what's this? I can just get XP? Rest XP? What's, what's going on here? Free restoration available, 9 days, 19 hours. 3.8. I don't know what I'm doing. Free restorations. Free XP? I don't know why this number is red. I'm going to just click confirm. Oh, is there death penalties? Double space? That view? Oh, okay. So I just got to double tap. But I, I, I felt like I was spamming it. But all right, let's. Maybe I wasn't. What did I just do, chat? What was that? Is there death XP in this game? All right, let's check out this view. I was not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to hit this grappling hook. They can make this a lot smoother. This grappling. I want to be able to do it while moving. Oh, man, chat. Look at that render distance. That's the town. That's the town. That's our main town hub that we traveled from. Let's get a little first person action. Look at that. Wow. This is just gorgeous. Game still works crazy, right? All right, so let's try double tapping this time. I'm tapping in so much chat. I must have I, I must have did something. I must have unkeybind it. I must have uh I I can't GPU I ah uh, I can't remember right now. So why all of a sudden can I not mount or what am I <laughs> Gravity hurts, man. Don't rely at me, Warrior. Oh my gosh. Uh let me go to my keybinds. I must have like accidentally unslotted it. Surely that's what it is. Uh, playful morph unequipped shape shifting and unequipped age up I'm sorry when did that change that's a different thing I think 
Surely, uh... Weapon swap, astral vision, summon guardian. Enable size, disable morph acceleration. E. That's different, though. That's my mounting thing. That shouldn't be what I got to press for the... You know what? Let's test it with a short jump. <laughs> One that won't kill me. Yeah, I just turned into a wolf that way. I'll... I'll here. I'm sorry, chat. I don't know what's going on. We were gliding. I literally glided on the way here. I don't think it's me. Surely. I don't think it's me, chat. Oh, there's another nice view up here. It's gonna be the game or the connection, right? Hi, ya! Bro, they do not want to see me fly. <laughs> Press space mid jump. I promise you, I'm mashing it. You know what? Let's make sure that's a sign because I got a feeling when I just changed my uh, shift keys that I unassigned it somehow. I, I don't, I don't know how, but I unassigned it. Space bar is jump. See? Space bar is jump. You guys see me jump. I literally... No, there's no way. Because I used the eagle to get over here. Did I not? It's got to be bug, chat. It's got to be. No, can't play it in A. But there's ways. Hmm. How many suicide attempts is it going to take for uh my character to Bro, I don't want to jump off this thing again. I th I think at this point it's called insanity. If I keep trying this, it I mean, this fall is so large that I'm going to be able to press every button before I fall and then <laughs> We'll figure it out on the way down! I'm gonna close that. It ain't me. You got kicked? It's the game, right? It's the game! I'm sorry, chat. I don't, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not changing anything that I've been doing on the way here. Oh, you know what? I mean, I could try, but I could have sworn I just used it. Uh, morph. We got that as our designated morph. Yeah, the eagles are designated morph. We should be transforming into this thing. <laughs> but yeah, this is the morph skill tab. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> My gear is going to be completely broken. You know what? We're going to walk. I'll figure it out another time. I'm sure I got to log out. I'm sure I got to log out, chat. I'm not about to keep jumping off of a high places all stream. I just got a lot of rewards. Holy crap. We're going to be able to craft what we want when we get back to town. I got the morph to turn into that giant boss that we defeated. Hold on. Acquired shapeshift. Goblin butcher. Shapeshift. You have obtained a new shapeshift. You can shapeshift by changing the appearance of your character. You can use shapeshifts in the special tab in the L morph window. Really? We have our first special shapeshift. All right. That's going to be it. Okay. So how do I... Which one is he assigned to, though? That's probably my settings, huh? I'll mess with that later, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I got to get... I got to walk to this because I can't be cool and fly to it. Yeah, I don't know, man. They do not want... It's just buggy. I've had issues with the grappling hook, but I've never, ever... Hey, speaking of a uh, butcher, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try to figure out how to transform because I want to see if I transform into this guy, will he, uh, 
Instant morph. Oh. Oh, press page up in the world. I've literally never pressed page up on a PC. So, let's do that. Wait, no, no, no. Don't attack him. Don't attack him. Okay, that's not working. Uh, Go back to that. Instant morph. Wow. So, wait. Don't attack him, Hamhog. I want to see if he... No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Uh, you knew that was the whole point of me doing this, right? <laughs> I want to see if he wouldn't attack me if I'm, like, uh, just like him. Because I think this could be a stealth thing. Yeah, see, they're not attacking me anymore. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm one of them. It's like one of us. One of us. That's pretty sick. That's what I was talking about earlier with the wolves. So now I can just traverse this area free of aggro. Because I morphed into the appropriate thing. So let's un... Let's, uh... Let's demorph in front of them. He won't let me do it manually, so I'm going to have to go back into the uh, menu. Actually, I don't know how to get rid of this. Do I attack? Is attacking? Holy crap! That's a short cooldown. Oh, that hits hard. Okay. Okay, so now let's go across more and double check that theory. Maybe they're just not attacking me no more. Maybe I was wrong about that morph thing. Yeah, it looks really it's it's really nice, man. Oh, he is okay. They are aggro. Oh, that great sword smacks now. All right, so while we're bugged, I'm just not going to be able to fly. Huh? Yeah, that's mine. Hey, let's go. Okay, we'll do, I'll do it later. It's night night time anyway, buddy. It's night night time. Okay, we're here. Am I going to take fall damage? At, oh, my gosh. You jump first. You jump. I'm not jumping, man. <laughs> I'm scarred. It says you have to designate the morph you have to use, then press the space bar to change and use W for gliding. This is UE4. This is UE4. Believe it or not, this is UE4. Okay, you said it says you have to designate the morph you have to use. Then press the space bar and use W for gliding. W? I know W's for gliding, but that's not to transform. Hounds, did you just double tap space for that? Because why isn't it working for me? You know what? Just in case this fails, can I at least make sure I land on this tent? Oh! Oh my gosh, I barely survived that. What the heck is going on with this game? I'm actually upset. <laughs> That's actually really annoying. Wait, you have like no health too. Um, speak with Lasan. Where's he at? Oh, he's literally right here. Lasan, I mean. W uses stamina. Oh, look at these spiders chasing in here. Here, I'll tell you what, I'll try again. I'm pretty sure I was hitting W in spacebar, but...
please. Yeah, there's my stamina bar. I'm just gonna die again, man. <laughs> you double press jump? Yeah, see? I, I promise you guys I know how to press jump. Something's not assigned somehow. And I don't understand. It could just be a bug though, right? It could be a bug and I'm spending too much time overthinking it. But I'm pretty sure I'm pressing space. I'm jumping, right? Space bars jump. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. Did you double jump before leaping off the cliff or you're already in midair? I, I don't know. I've tried every combination, man. It's so... It's so weird. Hmm. Yeah, it's just not working. There's, it's just not working. It's just not working. I got one more thing I want to try. Wow, that's it. That's literally what I was going to say, Hounds, is I was going to try plugging in my controller. Because I think maybe that's when things started getting buggy. It's when I plugged in controller to, to show you guys. But I feel like I've glided since then, right? But still. still. We switched to controller. Uh, what's the grapple button on controller? Square. And jump is X, yeah. So here, we'll try we'll try it with controller and see what's happening. Please don't kill me. Nope. It's just bug chat. It's literally just bug. There's no way. There's no way. There's there's just no way. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to log out. You know what? I don't have to close app. Let me just literally log out and log in and see if that uh fixes it. Cause that's gonna be annoying. That's like one of the most fun part of the games. I'm just going to go to character select. Dude, I promise you I'm double jumping and pressing W. I've glided in this game. I've glided during the stream. Like, I know what I'm doing. I promise you I'm that. I mean, I'm always jumping for it by pressing W. It's just not working. I told you guys I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You see how easy that is? <laughs> Bro, I promise you I know how to hit space bar. It's just, it was just bugged. I just had to log out. That is so annoying though. Like, I mean, to be fair, I probably should have tried that before I killed myself 14 times, but yeah. There's no way I forgot how to glide. Oh no. <laughs> like, I just did it again midair. All right, you'll meet, you, meet me by the spiders, but all right. So we did this. What is our current goal? Destroy the goblin rituals in Estrella Fields. Hmm, we got some spiders here. So red enemies are just like, they're gonna aggro if you walk past them. Yellow is not. So that's what was, I don't think it was my morph earlier with the goblins. It's just that they were passive is all. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Oh no, is that gonna go attack hounds? Okay, the guards are gonna take care of it. I might as well get the free XP. Get over here. Oh, are you think oh I'm getting a lot of misses. Okay. So our current destination is to destroy the goblin ritual tools. Interesting. How you doing, Irish? Yeah, it was a random bug, right? Goblin ritual tools. These things? No, I think that's for my contract. Uh, hold on. I'm looking around to see if my main quest is somewhere. Interesting. It says destroy the goblin ritual tools in Estrella Fields. I don't know where that's at. I'll check the map. Here, let me kill this thing that's aggro to me. Okay, it's not aggro to me any anymore. Uh, let's check the map. Uh, pinless. No, icon filter timetable hmm where is our objective it says Estrella Fields I don't know where that is it's right here Estrella something okay so we just I'm assuming it's over here yeah it's it's this direction straight ahead yeah let's just go this way 
Excited to play this? Dude, I'm loving it so far. The combat has surprised me. Combat has definitely surprised me. Are they attacking me because I'm a wolf, maybe? Eh, I guess some of them just don't like me. Look at those e look at those eagles up there. Those are players up there. That's so cool. Look, he just landed. And he's going to get right into a fight. I'm not I'm going to go past all this contract stuff. I'll do that later. The PVP I have not tried yet. I am too low level. It's, it'll be a while before we're ready to PVP. Although if uh if I do see a PVP zone uh happen, uh, near a zone that we are, I'll at least try. Oops, sorry, rubber bandit there. So it wants me to do what now? Why isn't that automatically pinned? It says it is. Destroy the goblin shaman in Estrella Fields. Okay. Goblin Oh, there it is. So you they don't handhold you really with the waypoints and all that. This didn't pop up until I got close. Now it's on my mini map too. Uh two, excuse me. And we see goblin ritual tools here. So let's go uh snatch that. Oh, I gotta destroy it. Oh, literally destroy it. I thought it was an interaction. Oh, what happened to him? I don't need to destroy these, but I'm going to do it. Good thing I got this Korean dialogue telling me what's going on. Uh, defeat two Goblin Shaman. Where are they? Goblin Shaman. Do they spawn right here? No, these are butchers. Look at this guy just ranging them down. That's why you've got to be ranging the MMO, man. My goodness. Where are y'all? Here they are. This way. Yeah, I see the purple dots you're talking about now. Once you get close enough, it shows you, huh? There's one. Oh, what? I blocked that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where'd they go? Oh, <gasps> there's a boss over here. What is this? There's some. There's a red skull. Oh, it's the butcher guy again. Let's go get him. Let's go get him, hounds. Let's help this guy out. I'll pull him. Get aggro. Get over here. Oh, I missed that. Get Zerd. Thanks for the XP, you scrub. Oh, I did not mean to do that. What? Did he pull me? <laughs> mm, that great sword be smacking. Okay. Anyways, let's go find the shaman over here. Yeah, I'm going to be playing mid-year. I don't know what I'm going to bring, though. I, I, I think I prefer to be on my necro. Everything over here. Um, we need one more shaman. I don't think I've gotten this waypoint, so I'm gonna grab this really quick. My first dungeon. Oh, definitely gotta stream the first dungeon experience. Definitely do. We was in PvP right there. Really? Did not know that. Combat good, gliding glitched right. Kind of weird not having mounts. Definitely not a game breaker. This is like a cooler version of mounts, but at the same time, I'm with you. I prefer mounts. This is more innovative than mounts, I guess. I would want to have more options to, you know, at least more things to transform into, I guess. 
it's still weird though right but this way you can use it mid combat right i guess is i don't know okay so there's a shaman this way there he is let's uh yank him Perfect defense. Oh, nice execute. Okay. All right, we did that quest. Return to Red Moon Lake and speak with Lasan. Do I want to just fast travel there? I don't think I got anything there. Eh, it's only 400 meters away. What up, dudes? You zerging me during mid year, but um, yes, it is. It's only out in Korea at the moment. But yeah, the first dungeon is going to definitely be interesting, especially as a tank, because tanks, you typically want to know the mechanics and what's going on. Oh, let's do this. I'm about to say, don't do this to me again. Hold on. I want to make sure I click that. There we go. So I'll have to deal with that again. I would definitely like to see more grapple hooks and more locations around the world for mobility. Oh, a bonfire. You will recover health and mana faster rate than normal. That's good to know. Okay. Bro, I'm trying to use my first bonfire and you're ruining it. That feels so good. Oh, that's a stun. Interesting. Dude, that great sword be feeling like it smacks. Nice. I like it. Heck yeah, man. You know, you know, you know. I had to do my part. Got to do my thing for the peoples. Anything. I don't mind spending a couple of weeks in Korea for you guys. They should make some sort of transformation skill tree so you can do damage in your animal state for more of a druid playstyle. I like that. I can see that. Right and wolf into an eagle, man. Love it. When the gliding works, it's pretty dang cool, huh? I was like, bro, I know, I know how to press the space bar. All right, find Ruby at Starlight Observatory and inform her about the situation. How far away is Ruby? Oh, back up there, yeah. I could fast travel there. But where's the fun in that? Let's take the scenic route. And maybe this next time I can actually show you guys. Well, I guess I kind of did already, but the uh, pretty view and then jump down. Can we go up this way? No. Mm, can't go that way. They need to make that a lot more smoother. You know, ESO's uh, Vatistran Hollows, the grappling hook in there, it's a lot more smoother. I want it to be like that where you can hit it mid air, mid another grapple. All right, so we're telling him about the situation. Okay. 
All right, it's been a while since we've cleared off our skill points and whatnot. Let's uh, claim all these rewards. I'm sure when we go back to town, we'll be able to craft a lot more armor with all this stuff that we're getting. Uh, we'll look at skill points later. Oh, Iron Point, Iron Point Parry. That's the great sword one. Um, here, let me look at character info. Do we got another upgrade? We do. Okay, let's stop. Let's put some stuff into a different thing. Let's go with uh, perception, accuracy of attack, CC effects. I want to start getting some mana. Mana regen. Yeah, let's start getting that wisdom bumped up. Max mana and mana regen. Let's do it. All right, and apply. Let's do also inventory. What's all this stuff in here? Okay, it's just me acknowledging that I am aware that I got it. Wait, what is this? Use item, quality, special material. Bro, these are chests full of materials that I haven't opened? Nah. -uh. 22. Bro, when we get back to town, we're going to crack these open. It has not, Tilly. It has not. Yeah, exactly. The Spider-Man vibes. Yeah, the, the yeah the great sword actually has that heavy vibe. You know, it feels like a great sword. It has a different weight and feel than the uh, sword and shield. What a view! Let me talk to this guy. Maybe he'll give me something. Nope. All right. Here goes nothing. Look, you just got press space once. It was that simple. It wasn't me. I told you guys. What a beautiful game. I wish I can ascend. Can't talk about Liberty without a bald eagle. Yeah, it's really cool, man. You got booted to another YouTube video. What the heck? Oh, I see that. Everybody got booted, it looks like. What? Why is YouTube mad at me? What? That's interesting. That's very interesting. Yeah, because I, I um earlier we were at like uh 38 viewers and then within 20 seconds it went down to uh 12 and I was like dang was it something I said I mean within seconds it did not release globally yet oh so that that's and that's good to know thank you guys that's good to know that explains earlier because yeah now we're it says we're down to eight viewers we were at like 40 and climbing and then out of nowhere everyone got booted and it was down to 12. That makes sense now, so that's probably happened multiple times. Weird. Oh, this is going to be a battle soon. But thank y'all for liking the stream. Be sure to subscribe. Really appreciate it. I'll be streaming a lot of this, uh, actually. I'll stream some ESO during the PvP event, uh, but I'll be doing some Throne of Liberty streams so we can like get our first impressions all ironed out. Uh, I'll probably stream it on Twitch next time as well. We'll see. Bro, I got so many things to open up and use. It's ridiculous. Where's that codex thing? Yeah, I bet there's a lot in here to claim. Let's see. Okay, I already chose that reward. Then why does it... Oh, here we go. Can I not? Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Collection. Okay, it's just showing me these. Okay. What about this? To show me that okay um let's check out this i don't understand this ui for this so i'm just gonna leave it alone again 
uh battle pass we'll take a couple things from there why not oh cash shop yay must pay to win must pay to win must pay to win okay so oh my gosh we're about to get a lot of stuff Holy mobile game. We're only at the daily task chat. I'm not sure if you can die armor. Too real to be booted. Interesting. No way. What the heck? Are we done? Claim all rewards. Thank you. Fashion, right? Oh my goodness. This game just is gonna it's it's definitely designed to hit those that dopamine, you know? Alright. Yeah, when we go back to town, we're gonna be able to craft some stuff, you guys. We're gonna be set. Um I need to cancel that waymark on the map. It's actually distracting me. This one. Thank you. Uh where are we going to now? Defeat Goblin alligator, no, alligator. Defeat goblin agitator and acquire order pieces in Estrella Fields. Goblin agitator. Hmm. And it says just one. Let's see if we can find him. There he is. He's this way. There he is. What's good, homie? My mana regen feels good. That helmet made a big difference. Oh, the perfect block, though. This feels good, and we leveled up. Okay. This... Yeah, I know what it is. It's that cape that we made. Yeah, the mobile aspect, yeah. Swiping your credit card. <laughs> oh, that that big baddie's back over there, but I ain't going to go back that way. That big goblin that we defeated. He's a fun fight, though. So I'm confused. Whose side am I on in this? Yeah, because it looks like I'm playing both sides. So now I'm going to go tell these guys about the assault. I'm going to teleport there. Yeah, we'll teleport up there. It's a free uh, teleport. Easy. Best teleport in MMOs. Let's go. Um, who am I talking to? Oh, this guy down here. Oh, get that. Yeah, it does. I'm scared. I'm scared of heights. That's so freaking cool. Uh oh. Oh, snap. Oh, this looks epic. 
Hello, Powder. It died again? Mm, might be time to end. That's sweet. Wait, I need to go where? Oh, we doing it. Magic trap. How do I use this? F, I'm trying to use it. Oh, okay, he's interrupting me. I haven't even needed the trap, man, honestly. That was cool. That came in late. All right, here, let's do the magic trap. Do I need to wait till they're over here? Cause they haven't broken through. I don't know. I'm just going to activate it prematurely. I don't think I'll need it anyway. Combat's been pretty sick. Okay. Let's help the guards. They're holding their own. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. Press the detonator? Am I? Is that something I'm supposed to do? Are y'all gonna hit the detonator? Where? Oh, it's right here. Is that for me? Sick. I love interactive quests like this. That's weird, yeah. You two, how long have I been streaming? A little bit over two hours. Yeah, two and a half hours, nearly. That's weird that it's doing that on mobile. It's not, it hasn't done it on my phone yet. All right, he wants me to do what now? I wish I was listening to his dialogue. I was looking at stream. Am I supposed to kill them? I think they're distracting them. So am I? There's got to be something I'm supposed to be doing. Use the incomplete magic trap to eliminate goblins. Okay, it's up here. This is really cool. Okay. Sorry, You're welcome. Uh oh, big boss is coming. Oh, it's hard to put Thorn and Liberty on a scale. New World would be the, my answer. New World would be my answer. Man, I'll 1v1 him. We don't need to block the entrance. Oh, did I get pulled over here? Oh. He keeps pulling me. Let's get this guy. Can I pull him away from everything? No, it pulls me to him because he's a boss. This is fun. Oh, he's got a lot of hit points. I'll fuck the boss. Ah. 
Oh, we gotta pull these mages in. Bring this mage. Oh, I, I got the boss to like this still. I'm tripping. He's not taking damage. Oh, because of the shaman. Yeah, I gotta. They're healing him. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm just not reading the instructions there. I got it now. I got it. I got it. I'll tell you what, let's go to this guy. Click that shaman. Pull him, pull him, pull him. Missed. Of course I did. Holy crap. Come on, shaman. Got him. Oh, my health, my health, my health. Can I not heal? That's weird that heal's not working. My health's getting low, chat. Oh no, I took a heavy hit there. It won't let me pull this guy. Oh no, why can't I heal? I gotta take these guys out. Oh, I tell you what, bring them over to this. Get some distance, get some distance. I gotta recover some health before I go back in. They're throwing projectiles at me. Perfect. Got him. Now he can be damaged. He can be damaged now, right? Yep, yep, yep. He can be damaged. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get these stone throwers. They're range. Block. All right. Ooh. Yeah, get these stone throwers. All this range DPS is messing me up. Let's go. We're kind of recovered here. Yeah, take them out. Our man is great. Let me just spam abilities. Uh-uh, get back over here. Oh, look at that execute. All right, now focus the boss. That's enough range out of the way. Block that. Oh, that was a big hit. Woof. Uh, let's go. Good stun. Let's go. Yeah, we got his attention now. Perfect block on him. Oh, I blocked that. I, I got cocky. I should have been blocked. Dang it. Ah, oh, I'm not blocking as well. Oof. All right, he's mad at me. Oh. Oh, that's tough. That's tough.
Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, look at that. Oh, blocked his grapple hook. Dang it. Let's go. Give me that great sword, too. Ooh. Drop the staff. It's got some writing on the end. So, do, do they have a lot of mechanics like this where you have to, like... You see? Now, you can actually, uh... Hold on. I think that's the one I was supposed to do. Hold on. Interesting. And you can, like, you gotta find where you're supposed to, like, inspect and whatnot. So, if I go like this, hold on. I did click the words already, right? Remove it to get... Oh, okay. How do I take it out, though? Hmm. How do I grab that? There we go. That's pretty cool. And now I can turn this like this. And now oh, I should be able to read it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Sword and board 200 when it comes out on NA. Yes, sir. It's Dude. Yeah, TNL Combat is it's amazing. I, I, I can't believe the same development team that released that crap that they tried to pull with the beta released this. Because this is phenomenal. I hate to admit it. I really do. Okay, so am I done here? I found all the clues. Yes, I am. That was fun. That was a fun battle. Holy crap. ESO and New World had a baby and it's Dawn and Liberty. Let's go. Yes, indeed. That was a fun fight, chat. That was, that was challenging, actually. I need to go craft some new gear. Oh, we got a new armband. I think that goes in an arm slot I haven't even uh, used yet. I come from Wisp Island. Damn, that was a fun little fight. How you doing, Matthew? All right. Surely we leveled up again. Now we're close to leveling up, though. That's that gray bar at the bottom of my screen, if you guys can see it. All right. Are we good? Are we done? 190 meters that way. That's where I'm going to turn into quests. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just run there really quick. Yeah, for sure. The PVX, yeah. That's so smooth. God dang, bro. Okay. Acquired five new skills, including Aegis skill, and what was that? What? Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. Look at all of this. I have a lot of stuff to open. Bro, we... This game rewards the heck out of you, man. Like, it rewards you probably overwhelmingly. I've never thought that'd be a complaint, huh? No. Okay, yeah, F it. Let's look at the skills. 
My sword and shield is still mastery level zero. That's crazy. So we have a new passive skill. Oh, so that one's actually not slotted. These are my passives, I think. So my passives go over here. Here's my active skills. And here's the passives I have slotted. So I unlocked a new passive. What is it? Melee range and magic defense for every percent of shield block chance. And I think one of my skills give me shield block chance, right? Yep. So that has good synergy. Resilient mind, evading an attack, restores mana. Each successful shield block or sh defense skill block restores 10% mana by the... So this is why I'm able to sustain so good now by making sure I'm weaving in those blocks. So that's mandatory. Nah, it's still uh, out here in Korea. <laughs> um, here's some other passes from the Great Sword, though. Straight up max health for the Great Sword, right? That's pretty cool. Maybe I want that one. I think I want this one, though. What can I sacrifice? This gives me mana every time I block as well. I don't know. <sighs> per one meter of proximity to the target. I feel like I need all of these. I'm about to be level 20. I'll just wait for that and then I'll drop this one in there. Yeah. That dude, I can't wait to start theory crafting and like making choices, opportunity costs, all that good stuff. Uh, how many skill points do I have? Does it tell me? I need one more skill point. Do I not have skill points? I'm confused. Uh, I'm not going to mess with this right now. Oh, Hounds died. What happened to him? All right, here. Let's get to town. Let's get to town. I I'm, I'm going to go back to town because we have a lot of stuff to do. Oh, crap. The quest is right here. Let me go turn that in. I don't want to get sucked in the middle of another storyline, though. But if I get XP from it, I do want to stop by here. Oh, a storage manager. I might start needing that because I got a lot of stuff to open. This has been fun. Appreciate you guys being here. Witness events of the past using the infinity wheel. Oh, that's a lot of cutscenes. Do y'all do we want to do that? I want to head to town, man. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm hold off on that. I think the last Infinity Wheel was a whole flashback that I had to play through, so we'll save that for next stream, maybe. Uh, let's go back to the main town. Wait, is there crafters here? I didn't even think about that. There's a merchant. There's that guy. A lot of people congreg congregating right here. Yeah, let's just go back to the main city. Hounds is over here. Um, free travel. Yeah, it keeps kicking people out of the stream. It started doing that in the last, like, I don't know, hour. Like, people are like, I don't know, like getting ads and going to the next video as if the video uh, stream ended. Yeah, yeah, yep, it just dropped again. It just dropped again. Now we're down to six, yep. I'm pretty sure I'd, br I'd be at like a high, high amount of viewers if we weren't kicking people out so often. Is it getting, for those of you that have been kicked before, is it giving you guys ads? I remember that happened in one of my Ashes of Creation streams. Is it giving you ads is what I'm wondering. Because if that's the case, then I'll just not monetize the next stream. I don't know why YouTube was doing that that day, but yeah. If any of you have been kicked out. I know it tells you the next video up and whatnot. Yes, I'm sure there's pay to win. I haven't gotten to it or seen it because like a lot of the stuff is in Korean. But yeah, from what I'm told, this, there's pay to win in the game. It's a free game, though, so it's to be expected. They got to make their money somewhere, I guess. But yeah, that's kind of sucks, right? Uh, anyways, I'm looking for the crafter. There they are. 
Um, let's do this. So before we get into that, I have a feeling. Yeah, see what I mean? Look at my inventory. Look at how much we have here. Open all of it. Holy crap. Wow. Uh, same with these. I think we're going to be able to make what we want, chat. And these are the chests. Oh my gosh, look at all the... No way, we got all these quality books? Okay. I mean, can I not have all of them? It says 10, right? So I think I get... Uh... Is it 10 per? No way. Okay, no, I choose one. So let's do sword. Let's do sword. These are quality improvements. Okay. So, uncommon passive skill improvement book used for the passive skill growth of all swords. Gotcha. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll do sword. I guess. Wait, what if I do one at a time? Oh, so I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's see. Sword. And then... Let's do like... I don't know. Is there a point or should I be using this per weapon? Is there a point in choosing four of that? I don't know how this stuff works. Let's do more of a great sword. And then the rest. I see the max button now. And then I hope I'm doing this right. Rare food. Oh, you know what? I haven't done a food buff this whole time I've been playing. I keep forgetting that that's a thing in this game, too. An hourglass of beginning, the mysterious hourglass that reverts time for you back to the beginning, used to reset all stats. That's pretty sick. We got a respec uh, thing right here. So let's keep an eye on this because I bet these are rare. And I bet if I want more, I'm going to have to get it from a cash shop. Yeah, it seems like you're getting rewarded for your time, to be fair, right? It really does. Okay, so we have a lot of materials and we've just been... We have not been grinding. You guys have seen the stream. We have not been grinding. And look at... I assume this is a lot of mats. See, this says it heals me, but I could never use it during combat. And it's assigned to my 7 key. Yeah, I'm pressing it right now. It's... I wonder what's going on with that. Because I couldn't use it once during that battle. Like, I have 1,600 of them. It has a 6 second cooldown, but man. I don't know. Maybe that was something unique to that one thingy. Anyways, I'm sorry. Uh, so we got all of our materials, I think. Okay, here's how we upgrade our weapons. I actually got a purple one. That's insane. And we got the quality improvement books. Uh, all right, so I'm ready to get crafting. So first thing I want to focus on is my armor. Um, also, hold on. Let's check our one second character info we might have gotten some new gear that we can equip no i guess not i don't see nothing new here yeah this is all stuff i have equipped never disregard looks like we're crafting fellas um did not make you pay crowns for a respect scroll <laughs> um i think i should prioritize weapons so next up we just crafted a great sword so let's let's try to get a really good uh Sword and shield. Let's try to get a really good sword and shield. So, there's a blue one. Can we get this blue one? What does it have? Well, it gives us shield block chance 11%. A little bit more attack speed. Max health, critical hit, 
health regen plus 45 for a total of 90. Yeah, yeah. The blue one's obviously going to be the best one. So how do I craft this? So we're going to need this thing, which I bet I don't have, unfortunately. I bet this stuff I can make. Rare strength crystal? Yeah, I can make that. Thing is, though, I can't make that little scroll thing, so we're not going to be able to make that yet. This thing? This uh rare lithograph elite resistant sword? Can I buy it? How to acquire. Look at that. Oh, that's a heal used by your Amata. Your actual heal potion is the green bottle. Thank you. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you, Tofu. Um, View usage. Share chat. How to acquire. That's pretty cool that they tell you. Guild raid. Wriststone. Abyssal contract. Hunting. And stone guard. So that's cool. It tells you on the map where to find it. And if it would be available in the codex, little graph book, deadly swords. No merchant carries it. What's this now? Oh, so if I do what? What do I got to do to get it? Where's one hand and shield? Here it is. So what are they asking me to do? Interesting. Wow, this is like overwhelming. Like, welcomely overwhelming. Okay, so. Does the blacksmith sell them? I don't think. He sells mats. I think this is where I refine them. And then everything else is like where you buy. This is essentially your crafting table. So. We're, uh. I don't know. I guess we can't make that yet. I mean. Yeah, because we need that one book. That's the one thing. We, we can make a green one, but I already have a green one. <gasps> to be fair, this one's a lot stronger. It may be worth us getting. They all have the same damage, but what about... Let's see. Block chance. Critical hit health regen. Collision chance. Max health health regen. I like that one. Yeah, definitely the field soldier one. And then what else? Hit 70, health regen 45. This is the best one. Field Soldier Sword. Yeah, we need to make this. How do we make this? We need this thing. God dang it. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing something. Because I, I would think I'd be able to buy that. The armor, I can craft a lot of these. So let's start crafting some stuff. All right. We got gloves equipped. Let's start getting, I don't know, some legs. Uh, health regen. Melee evasion is very important as well. Health regen or melee evasion. And it has strength plus one. That's a tough call. I think we go. I want to stack, I want to stack a lot of health regen, man. The evasion stuff we'll get eventually. Let's get this health regen pants. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I got a lot of these. The armor ones. Well, I got one, it says, per here. Do I only... Is that my last one? Yeah, I only got one left, so I got to be careful which one I choose. Uh, I guess that's the only slot I'm really needing. Yeah, because I don't have... I still have my basic gloves, um, legs, and feet. We'll just work our way down. Let's actually let's do legs. Just craft it. Wait. Nope, I don't got none for the perp the blue. And I'll double check. Yeah, they don't sell them here. Okay, that's fine. Baby steps. Let's craft this. Alright. We got that. Let's uh equip that. All right, look at us. And we got a skill point to spend. Let's uh dump another one into... When did I put something in perception? No way. 30 months powder? Thank you so much. You'll be playing it when it comes out this year? Let's go. Powder, thank you. 30 months, dude. Insane. 
My mana of regen has been really good, to be honest, during that whole fight. So I'm going to put it into strength. Thank you so much, Powder. Okay. Let's see if we can make any jewelry, and then we'll, we'll be good. All right. Do we have a necklace? We don't. So let's make a necklace. Which one do we want? Health regen, mana regen, ranged evasion. That I might go with that one. Melee evasion and mana regen. Maybe melee evasion. Stun resistance and max health. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go melee evasion. No. I kind of hate getting ranged down because that's the more because you can't really stun those guys on you. Right. So I feel like ranged evasion is more important. 40 ranged evasion. Evasion. Um. Yeah, because I you can kite very easy in this game. You can kite melee guys really easy. So let's try to build up that ranged evasion, y'all. Let's craft that. Yeah, let's craft that. Let's go. Okay, so we got that. Uh, and we can't craft any more jewelry. Oh, we can make a ring. We can make a ring, though. Um, what are we going to do for... Oh, no, this is a belt, not a ring. This is accessories. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right, so we got melee evasion, max health. We have health regen, ranged evasion, so we can build more into ranged evasion. Mana regen, weakened resistance. I don't care about weakened resistance. Max health and mana regen. Nah. Um, we're going to likely do one of these first two. So we got health regen, ranged evasion, max health, melee evasion. I should probably do a little bit of melee evasion too. And I think I just got a passive that when I evade something, I get like mana or something like that. I should probably try to go ahead and start building evasion for both. How about I go ahead and just e invest in ranged evasion a lot, right? And then um, my next piece is I start looking at melee evasion and start balancing it out. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Because when someone's in front of me, the biggest thing they can do, I can block their melee, right? It's the range guys that I'm not watching that I'm worried about. So here, let's put those two things on. Because, yeah, I can stun them. I can block. Block time it or whatever. Uh, Here we go. Is there an actual visual for the bracelet and the necklace? No, I don't think you can see the necklace. I could be wrong. Let's see. I don't think you can. I could be wrong. Uh, So we now have a belt. I don't think the belt had a visual either. Either that was being covered by the armor. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Ranged evasion is going to be a lot more important because at least the melee stuff, I see their attacks coming. If I'm like, if I'm like fighting a big boss like that one, that if I'm fighting like, remember that fight we just had? The boss wasn't the issue. I had to go take out all those ranged stuff. Hey, that looks cute. I see. I had to like take out all those stone throwers because those were the ones messing me up, not the boss. So I think that's why the range evasion is going to be super important too. How does it compare to New World so far? The combat, it's its a tough comparison, but it's a combination of New World and ESO or maybe rather New World and Guild Wars. No, Guild Wars 2 and New World had a baby is how I'm looking at it. Got to dodge them spec bows, facts. So, all right. So we got all that. Our stats are looking juicy. Our mana sustain has been great as of late. We got our great sword. We got a we got a green great sword. We got a green uh sword and shield. The only thing that we need to do really, hold on, let's check the codex. Nothing here. Nothing. No. Okay. Anyways, um, the only thing I need to decide on is skills. So. I don't have skill points, do I? Can I upgrade this? Oops, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. What sort skill was that? This one, put that back. I'm trying to upgrade. Uh Oh, you know what? Hold on, chat. I got you, I got you, I got you, hold on. I know what to do. 
Hounds, we got a duel before I get off. Contract manager. Who was that merchant that was upgrading skills for me? I'm pretty sure he was in his main square. No? There was a... There was a guy. Maybe I can check on the map, but there was a guy. I don't know what this does. But there was a guy that was helping me. Um, Yeah, evasion stacking is ridiculous. I can already tell. But there was one guy that... um. He's so, like, okay, here, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. These things right here, these books help you level up or whatever. Or maybe I use these at the craft tables. Oh, wait, can I just use them for my inventory? Is that what's happening? Yes. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. So this is my skill point right here. Back up, back up. I want to focus on this first. I own seven of these, so. Level up. This is sick. It's level two now. Increases damage reduction by 63. Damage reduction goes up as we level it up. Our health recovery goes up passively too. Um, what level can this go to? Is three the final level? Because if so, I'll just do that. It takes two skill points. Ooh, let's do it. Let's do it. Growth is completed. No, that's not the final level. Maybe it's just the final level for what I have. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> I think that took all my skill points just now. But I think that's one of the most important things. I'm four levels higher than you. Oh, snap. Um, okay. So if we go back to our inventory, we have a staff book. So we can go ahead and do that. Wait, is this more sword stuff? And then we got 28 for the great sword. Oh, my gosh. Hold up. Uh, let's. What is one of my? This is my favorite one right here. I love this gap closer. It gets damage increases. No, wait, 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 wait. Charge five times the distance of attack range. Up to five targets. They're stunned for two seconds if they hit a wall. Okay, that's just a damage upgrade. I'm trying to get something for utility. Shield block chance can go up with this for six seconds. That's really important. And if I evade a melee attack, you shield block or. Timeout. Shield block chance plus 13%. On evading a melee attack, using shield block or blocking with my defensive skill, perform counterattack that deals. Okay. Okay. This is like that one skill on Guild Wars 2. Okay. Do I have spin win for great sword yet? I don't think so. I don't. You know it's gonna be one of these. Okay, what's this? Cooldown reduction. Eh. I think that's an important one. Or what about passives? Passives could be an important thing. Um evading restores mana. Yeah, I want mana spam. Ranged evasion, magic evasion. Holy crap, is that two different things? I'm overwhelmed, chat. The theory crafted is crazy. This is just straight up max health. Evading an attack restores mana by 14, and each successful shield block or defense skill block restores mana. This is my most important passive, I think. Blocking gives me mana. I'm sorry, I'm upgrading this. How do I upgrade it? No, 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 go back. No, no, don't duplicate. I don't even know what that means. Hold on. Bro, how do I, why can't I upgrade this? There it is. Okay, here we go. Now it's letting us do it.
All right. Now we got even more mana recovery. It's 16%. Yeah, I'm going in on this. This is going to make me never have to worry about sustain. This is never going to... I'll stop right there and start putting something into another passive. But yeah, that, I, I wanted that leveled up. So that's level three now. I, I'm loving this game right now. Okay. So magic evasion right here. That's probably our next best thing. We have max health as well. I know what I'm doing wrong. I need to upgrade it over here. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, this is a great sword skill. That's right. I'm not using that right now. I'm not. I don't have it equipped right now, I should say. So. Evasion. Yeah, because right now the active skills, they just give me a little bit more damage and cooldown. I'm not too worried about that. So I want to worry about my passives. Basically, evading and getting mana back is what I want to focus on. So, let's do that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to figure out indeed. I'm going to do this again. Okay, I need two more points for the next level. So, we got one left. We'll save it. We'll just save it. But for now, this is fine. These are very important things that we upgraded. All right, chat. So, now that we did that, right? What's really cool is we have 28 for the great sword to spend. Let's do it, chat. So let's first maybe look at our greatsword passives. So we have a couple of them. This one we have slotted. I wonder if I should have only the tank one slotted. What is this one again? Melee range magic defense for shield block chance. I can wait on that one. Let's just keep this max health. That's fine. Um, let's actually consider upgrading that. But let's look at what our skill upgrades do with the current skills. So I think this one is one of your best DPS ones. Attack three times in a row. Each attack doing 100% base damage. It only has a nine second cooldown. If there are other enemies within the skills range, it's an AOE. Every time a hit becomes a heavy attack, the remaining cooldown decreases by 15%. Okay, so let's let's keep our eye on that one. That one has a that one um you didn't get a single level. So that one ha I have my eyes on that one. Okay. Precision dash. Oh, I didn't realize this was a gap closer. So you just get damage for upgrading that. That's not big. This has a 30 second cooldown. And it stuns people. So this is our stun. And this increases the stun duration as we level it up. Not exactly a priority for me right now. Death blow. This is a big smack. It has a 12 second cooldown. What's the catch? 350% base damage. Plus 113. Oh. Against bound, sleep, and shock or stun. So after I stun them, I want to use this. So it's like a follow up. I ain't worried about that too. I think we agree that this is the most important one to prioritize. It's a short cooldown. It's AOE. This is going to be our main source of DPS. We are going to upgrade this. All right. Let's do it again. Oh, what's this mean? Special one. Common one, special one. What does that even... I don't even know what's happening right now. Special 10. Is that like... Oh, skill growth rate. Wait a minute. Wow. So there's like a little RNG thing with the trees. That's why sometimes it goes to half a level. Sometimes it does 20. You see how I'm at level 3 and 20%. So there's a common chance for it to increase by 40%, intermediate 30, greater 20, special at 10%. Wow, look at that. It says it right there. Common 40% chance to grow 40% for skills. Intermediate 30% chance to grow 50% for skills. Greater 20% to go 70. And special is a 10% chance to grow for 100%. How do I increase the chances of that? Is there something in my inventory that can do this? Hold on. There might be some consumable or something that I'm not aware of that I can pop. Armor growth. Weapon growth. Consumables. I bet there is one, chat. I bet there's some way to boost your... Uh... 
Or maybe it's with your weapon level. The higher you level your weapon, the better the chance is. I'm not gonna mess with it too now, too much right now. I'm just, I just want to upgrade it. Okay. Let's just keep upgrading this one skill. Actually, hold on. Let's upgrade the max health. Ooh, 700 at the final rank. What's going on? It's, I don't have skill points? Oh, I don't have these specific books. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. I got to go to that thing in my inventory to use it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to right click this and then go into it, right? No, I don't have skill points. I'm confused how this system works now. <laughs> I'm so confused. So passives use a different book is what it is, right? Is that what it is? Let's see. Yeah, passives use a different book. The training books are for skills and the passives use improvement books. That's what it is, chat. That's what's happening. That's pretty cool. So wait, if I'm using a different book, I might as well upgrade another passive for my uh, sword and shield. This one required, I couldn't upgrade this one anymore, right? Yeah, I need two more skill points. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I, I just want to keep putting points into that. Nah, just do it. Oh, that one requires two as well, so we'll leave that alone. I'm sorry, chat. I'm, I'm all over the place, but we will leave that alone and just finish leveling up this one skill. I really want to spec into this skill. This will be our go-to, almost like our spammable. Intermediate, greater, special. I don't want to blow it all, but let's at least do one more level. Oh, wow. Okay. Common one, intermediate one. I wonder what is determined. Like, what is determining these, these chances here? Let's stop there. Uh, What is our skill doing now? Oh, wait. Is this not max level? 100% of the base damage, blah, blah, blah. Same cooldown decrease. Same, yeah, whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll hold off on it. But yeah, this skill is looking pretty good now. All right. I'm done. Uh, I'm done with the theory crafting. Let's go do one more thing of combat because I don't want you guys to. I don't want to end the stream with us just playing in the menus. Let's go at least go test some of this stuff out. I hear some beautiful music. Let's go. I don't want to mess with that thing yet. Let's just go to the. Uh... Peace dynamic event. Oh, this is that beach. These things are low level. I wouldn't have came here. Oh, well, let me test my uh, sword skill. So is that really a gap closer? That thing smacks so hard. That ability right there, it hits so hard, man. It is a gap closer. Yeah, that shift uh, four. This will be, here. I'll do it again. Let's see how much it opens up with. Look. Wait. Yeah, that one smacks. It's heavy too. But I didn't realize I've been using this great sword skill. So let's see how far away we can use this gap closer. That's sweet. I have two gap closers now. Oh man. And if they're ranged, we just yank them in. Ooh, I like this. And execute. <laughs> Dude, I'm liking this combat. I'm liking this game. I'm liking the graphics. I'm liking the upgrade system. And obviously, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no load screen, dude. Best fast travel in the MMO right now. Obviously, there's going to be stuff at end game I don't know about right now. This is that new MMO feel that uh, what was the word I was using earlier? Um, I don't know. It's almost that ignorance. Like, you know, it's that shiny new toy. But I will say all the stuff that I've seen so far, theory crafting, gear, combat, that stuff, you can't change the opinion of it later, right? 
what can happen later is you get to end game and you or you start investing or looking into the pay to win that's what i think you got to uh will be the downsides of the game uh but i mean honestly if it depends on how you want to look at pay to win really i mean i don't prefer it in an mmo i don't want it but i'm not gonna pay anyway i i mean i feel like the game's rewarding me i mean at this level i feel i'm getting rewarded decently uh by just playing through the game i don't feel like i have to swipe my credit card to compete with somebody maybe that changes with pvp and all that stuff but it, maybe it's pay to advance faster i don't know but pay to win is never good in an mmo um but yeah another game added to the rotation facts look at that gap closer range so if i do this that's cool. Like, just blocking. I'm going to be able to sustain mana forever, man. That gap closer. I'm falling in love with it. Look at that. Sheesh. Dude. Uh, yeah, this is. Yeah, I'll be doing some ESO mid year mayhem, but this is what we're going to be. Uh, This is going to be the game right here. Does inventory management suck like ESO where you need ESO plus? Nope, not that I've seen. I did see the option for a storage thing. I'm at 62 out of 130. And that's for literally all my categories. I'm at 62 out of 130, and I'd say I'm have I have a lot of stuff. Oh, we need to slot this. Now I got uh, heal pots slotted. I couldn't heal during that one fight earlier. Okay, so this is like boost defense for a short time, attack for a short time. Mana regen for a short time. We'll do it like that. Okay. But yeah, between all that and the movement and uh Dude, it's just so freaking good. Like, I'm I'm so happy. I'm trying so hard not to do a quest because I gotta like get the kids to bed and everything. <laughs> so I'm trying so hard not to jump into another quest, but yeah. Oh, let me grab that book and then we'll turn into an eagle. Um, is there another grapple? Nah. Let's do this. This is the game, man. If I end up loving PvP, that'll just be the cherry on top at this point. Because I'm just loving the PvE and the combat. That's kind of how I am with Guild Wars 2. Is like, I just love the PvE and the combat. Even though I don't like the PvP, it's not a deal, deal breaker for me. Guild Wars 2 has a great action camera and all that. The thing I don't like about Guild Wars 2 is there's a bar swap cooldown. And it makes combat feel so clunky and not fun to me. That's the only reason I never got into the PvP. Um... But yeah, this game is so smooth, man. I'm loving it. Uh, I'm going to end it here. If I will literally do a 24-hour stream if I don't stop myself right now. Uh, once again, thank you for everyone that remember to subscribe. If you want to see more Throne of Liberty content like that, let me know. I'm kind of gauging you guys' feedback. I know we had a lot of people in here today. Probably would have had more if my stream wasn't like kicking people out randomly. But I'm going to try to demonetize the next stream. So maybe that will... Uh Maybe that will be um, what we do next stream because I think that's what was kicking people out. I had that happen one Ashes of Creation stream, and it doesn't do that every time because all my streams are monetized, but I'm going to go out my way to demonetize it and hope that that uh, does it. I'm not going to do a gifted one on this one. I'll probably do that next Ashes stream. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, this has been fun. I My overall first impressions, I guess I should give that right now. Oh, look at the sun setting. This is perfect. We should have got on. We should have got stayed up somewhere high and watched the sunset. Look at these graphics, man. My gosh, I, this is Unreal Engine 4. Imagine when we get us some Unreal Engine 5 MMOs. Look at that. Look at the light hitting off the shield. Just. Oh, I'm sorry. I got distracted, chat. Man. Um. Anyways, first impressions. Yeah, I, I can't speak over the over of the overall game. I can't speak on the pay to win. I can't speak of how the end game loop is. Where I can't speak on right now is combat. 
solid, super good, one of the best I've played. Uh, combat, it's, it's just freaking good. Uh, the questing, questing feels okay. There have been some good quests even during this stream. I'm I'm actually liking it. Um, re uh, rewarding and respecting the player's time. We've got probably too much rewards during the stream. Like we have gotten ample stuff. Um, dubbing, like everything's in Korean, obviously right now, but the English subtitles have been, you know, if I went to pay attention to the story, I can know what's going on. Graphics, A1, especially for UE4. I can't imagine what we're going to get with UE5. Um, we had one bug. You guys remember I spent like 10 minutes jumping off a mountain, killing myself. Uh, but that's because it was just bugged. The gliding was just bugged and I had to log out and then log back in. So do keep that in mind. We did have one bug, which I mean, to be fair, is not bad. Connection. I'm streaming from Korea and, you know, <laughs> I'm streaming from Korea and streaming to you guys. And it's pretty darn smooth. Um, yeah, no complaints, man. I think I found my main MMO for a little while to buy time until Ashes. Of course, I'm going to keep my other games in a rotation. New World has a new season. I might uh, might jump in the waters with that. ESO has a PvP mid-year mayhem event, so we'll definitely be doing that next week. But yeah, definitely we'll be on some Throne and Liberty streams. And of course, now that I found something to play, Elden Ring is announcing its DLC tomorrow, because why not? As if, oh, it's so annoying. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. This would just be an upgrade. To I don't know why one would play New World once this game comes out. Because it's just a better version of that. Um, But New World's combat is so good, dude. It's so good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. New World will never recover from its launch. I'm going to do a video on that. Uh, Probably later this month once uh, this Elden Ring stuff dies down and this dies down. Um, As much as I love New World. You can never recover from that bad of a launch because it's a good game now. It's a good game. It has some faults, but it's a good game. But that launch was so horrific. It scarred people and they'll just never recover. Yeah, just yes, definitely. Best action combat. Yep, 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 yep. That's what that's what that's what attracts me to it. But yeah, it'll never recover. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, this is the game. This is the game, you guys. Uh, I'm going to get off. I got to get some food in my system. We have been streaming for almost three and a half hours. Thank you guys so much for being here. Sorry about we. Uh, the stream didn't have frame rate drops at since the beginning. We did some at the very beginning of the stream, but then it stopped according to my stream program here. And then um, we had some issues with everybody getting kicked from stream, which is weird. But I, I, I think I'll have that fixed by next stream. Um, but yeah, so it'll be a easier viewing experience. But uh. Once again, thank you for everyone that remembered to like the uh, stream. Make sure you're subscribed. Follow on Twitch. Um, thank you for everyone for the donations, channel memberships. Really appreciate this. If you're watching this at a later date, appreciate you watching. And uh, yeah, call it here. First impressions. Uh, what level am I at? 16. I am at 16. Uh, but yeah, you guys have a good one. And.